There's your cue, baby. <laughs> no, <laughs> you gotta say I'm Michael. Start, start the music over. Take two. Take two. Here we go. Here we go. I swear, I swear we don't practice this. This isn't practice or rehearse. Hey, you go. I'm Michael Lynn Watkins. And I'm a Nick Anasty. And you're watching Pinballs Pin and Power Core on the Nice Guy Handy Network. That's right. That's fucking awesome, ain't it? That's super fly, John Lee. So we have, have found a home that will put up with our shit. And I've noticed, you know, do you know we're already at episode three? Yep. Uh, really? I thought this was one. Well, we did the pre one before we came in, like the pre cum episode. <laughs> well, we were just in here just chilling, and then we got the Thursday night, so that would have been technically two, and then this is technically three. Damn. They've All been right. some good shows, too. They I just thought it, we man. were fucking jacking off the first two times. We were, there. but they can't see us from the waist down, Mike. Mm. So that's what keeps it. You got to keep the, you know, get, they got to want to pay for that. Once they start bringing the money, <laughs> we'll stand up as we're doing it. Yeah. This is a, a pretty special episode, though, because unlike the other ones, tonight we're going to be watching a little bit of Raw in the background as well as that's it's going right. on. Yeah. And WWE's been pretty interesting, so that can add a little bit of coolness on it. Boy, what a turnaround for that company. And yeah. the last few shows uh, where they were the kind of the beginning things, we were playing some, uh, you know, just some music that were sent to us. And a couple of them was a little older and a little older things. And, and I, I know that you w would rather do uh, modern new releases from 2024 well, to play more updated from type stuff. fucking years ago. Sometimes those are where the good ones are from. That's true. But we got all kinds of brand new ones. We got all kinds of stuff. Everything uh, that we're listening to today is Think about it, though. If somebody sends us, like a band, sends us a track mm -hmm. and it's literally from 14 fucking years ago yeah right what are they trying to hide yeah or uh, what have they been doing yeah well, they should involve that because a lot of people they just send it to me and they don't let me know that it's owed so it's like why are they sending me stuff that, that, that's that owed but yeah, I mean, exactly. I mean but some people some people like to promote their I'm own very shit. curious as to know why they would ever fucking do that maybe that from now on when it, we get one and it's that old that's what we'll do we'll just write back why Hey, if you're a band wow. that is still active, I mean, if you're still out there or if you're trying to stage a comeback or something and you send us some shit in, mm -hmm. send that information also. Like, hey, here's mm -hmm. us. You know, we got some new shit on the way or we're back together, uh -huh. or, you know, whatever. All of these also as well, I was noticing some of them were some name. Like one of the names I kind of ring a bell and I was like, I feel like this band's a little famouser than, uh, than we normally play. But I looked at the views and stuff, and the views were all, like, you know, under 100,000 and stuff. I try to make sure it's nothing that's completely blown up or nothing that's too out there already when we play stuff. I want it yeah. kind of be stuff that a lot of people hasn't heard. So everything that we're playing as well is, like, under 100,000 views and stuff. And pretty pretty solid lineup. I, I try not to listen to the entire song. I just try to listen to a little bit of it, move into a little bit of the meat to make sure that it's actually it's something that we're not going to want to turn off. Just to make sure it's exactly. up to a certain standard. Yeah, just make sure it's not dog shit. See, we don't, but if we do that too much, though, we don't get any gold. Yeah, we, we don't, don't get, get any of that. Turn that shit off. <laughs> That's right. We don't get the comedy gold. Why did you either. send that shit in, yeah. you cocksuckers? Yeah, you don't yeah. want to listen to something this. Fucking stupid. Yeah, just sometimes, listen. Sometimes we gotta have some shitters, man. Some yeah, dog to, shit. Just to have a shit on it. You know? There technically is a lot of people that do play out shitty music and they think, oh, my shit's so good. Then yeah. you listen to it, you're like, what is this horse shit? Yeah, what is this dog turd coming out of my goddamn speakers right now? And the bad thing is that they think their music don't stink. Johnny, how are you doing and where in the fuck did you get that new badass jacket? You I'm are bling a -ling -a today. You. I told you the Superfly comes prepared with all kinds of Superfly. Now, stuff. I haven't seen that one before. Is that new? This is new. That's the newest? That's right. It's double color. Man, it's fucking Blue fly. and gold. That's fly, Blue dude. and gold. I, I, um, I'm not a betting man, but if I was, I would think someone is going to be Johnny Superfly Lee like as, as a Halloween costume within the decade. They definitely should. Within be. the decade, <laughs> they're going to be selling, you know, they're going to be selling Johnny Superfly Lee Halloween costumes some motherfucking wear on this planet. 
It might just be at the Skullface Records merch Hell store. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be selling the Superfly jackets, baby. Hell yeah, because these are some of the finest jackets that there is. <laughs> well, dude, I guess we'll get started talking on some uh, WWE. Um, here soon, we actually, we're going to be, in about seven minutes, we'll be turning on Raw. We'll probably watch the intro of Raw, see how, that, see how they start the show. Yep. Kind of rate how they start off the show to me. Um, the start off the show is what hooks me most of the time. I've been watching Raw since it started. And if it don't grab me at the beginning or they have some cocksucker coming out there and boring me to death on the mic, I probably wouldn't watch the Raw show. I'll probably turn it off. Hey, Who would you gotta, be the... You got to set the fucking tone, man, you know? Yeah. Who yeah. would y'all say was the most boring person to open up the show? Ever? That, yeah, to stop your attention from wanting to watch it. I Go ahead, Mike. Oh, God, that's a... I'm having to step in a pile of shit to think about that one. The, the way I could say it is it's within an era. Vince okay. McMahon. Anytime Vince Anytime came out, man there, came I just out. didn't like it. I was like, so, during the, the Stone Cold here. stuff, you could be like, oh shit, if you see McMahon, you're probably going to see Stone well, Cold. No, that yeah. was back in the day, though. But when We're he was coming out last to, 10 years or whatever, to pump you know? the crowd. Yeah. I, besides one or two, when Raw was doing that fucking uh, guest host. And sometimes they would just let like McGregor. What was that? Not not MacGyver, but McGoogger or yeah, whatever it was. I remember that. You one. remember that shit? Yeah. McGoober, whatever. Like they was letting these like B movie stars yeah. come out and start the show, and you're like, what the fuck? The only one that was worth a damn was Pee Wee Herman. Dude, that was in my head. That was my favorite. That's the only reason I can't completely throw Mickey it under Rock the bus. Mickey Rourke was cool. Mickey Rourke was good too. And the other one with the Muppets. That was cool because they. I'm a Muppet Jameson. man. I'm a Muppet guy. Beeper. I like. You can't me, fuck me, with me, the Muppets. Me, me, me. Like, that's Seamus's cousin right there. <laughs> that, that, in canon, that, that's exactly what he is. Beaker. <laughs> yep. Because he, because because Christian took the Drake from him, and then Seamus pops up. He's like, "They're a problem, fella." Hmm? Chris's like, "No, no." Walks away, and then Seamus starts spitting up the hair. He's like. There you go, fella. <laughs> Looking good, cuz. Fucking Beaker is Seamus' cuz. <laughs> me, 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 Seamus. That's that, some funny shit. But, yes, it but is. like, you know, if, if if the glass breaks, a snow cold runs out. Or back in the day, if, if Raw started and you heard, ooh, what a rush. Like, yes. Yes. dude, like, we're fucking getting ready to have a show. Yeah, nowadays, it, it's if, if you hear the Rock's music, or everybody Roman. loses their or shit. Roman. Or Roman. Or Roman. Mm-hmm. Every and time for Roman. I mean, you know. Dude, and I was going to get into this tonight, too, but we might as well since his name came up. I cannot remember a greater run in the history of fucking wrestling mm-hmm. than the bloodline. Well, that's pretty, it's, get, it's getting good. I mean, I really can't. You think this shit's been going on for like five years? Four or five years? Horseman. You know? Horseman. What's up, Tommy and, Green? And fucking strong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, not just a little bit, but literally yeah. the fucking pinnacle of the show. Yeah. And just it just keeps on rolling, man. And, like, and, and it's bloody. gonna get it's gonna get better and better and yeah. better because maybe the best Samoans not even on the show yet. Oh, he's on. Hikaleo. Yeah, one of the Azilla. Ones. He's on there. Who? Now. Oh, Jacob. Oh yeah, Jacob. Jacob. Is Jacob Fatu is the motherfucker, and I've been yes. preaching him how how long, dude? Oh, we've been, been talking, talking about him. About- Four years. Four Have months. you seen his moonsault? That motherfucker. Dude, hop, hop, jump. Yes. Yeah. His old hop, hop, jump. He, he yeah. makes Who Tiffany Stratton's moonsault look like yep. fucking And shit. he whooped the fan's ass that thought that he was going to try something. Jacob <laughs> just comes up and just kicks that fat motherfucker down. Yeah, that happens. And lets him know, hey. You don't want to fuck you with Samoan. You step up to me, I'm going to kill you. You don't want to fuck with Samoan. Don't baby. fuck with no Sam Owen, dude. Don't yeah, do it. And don't fuck with a Tongan either because Haku was a Tongan and he fucking, if you told him wrestling's fake, he grabbed you by the head, he pulled you in and bite your nose off and ass. I'm kind of ignorant to the difference in that and the difference in Tongan. It's just an island. Just two different islands. (laughs) It's just a fucking island. They're all still still family and shit. Exactly. They they even consider each other family. They're they're like, the Tongans are officially considered family because Jacob Fatu is friends with Tama and Tonga, and they're basically now the new bloodline, so they're family already by association. And they all consider Haku to be an uncle. You know, even with the with the popularity of the what's going on with that, it makes me even when I watch um, older stuff and I see, like, Powers of Pain, and I see Barbarian, and I see Haku, you know, wrestling with Andre and wrestling with his Islander brother back in the day, which I think was Jacob's dad. That was Jacob's dad, wasn't it? The guy who Haku was first partners with when they were the Islanders. 
I for think so. early in WWE. I don't remember. I, I believe so. I believe that was his dad. Um, the Tongan Kid was what his name was. Yeah, that's, yep. that's right. Yeah, yeah. Um, it just makes me look Dude, at them all so much more. Ass. But it makes me look at them so much differently now because I'm understanding what they were setting, like what they were doing. Like they were with, you know, they were laying some fucking ground that now is taking over. Like while they wasn't on top and they wasn't getting the belts, they wasn't beating Hogan in the main event. They I wasn't blame Hogan for everything. No intercontinental champion fucking runs, nothing. But they were laying the groundwork for their kids and their grandkids to hold all the fucking guns. Yeah, their kids dominate the sport. I yeah, mean, they are on top. Yeah. Exactly, they're the best of the best. And Cody, there's no Cody fucking roads. Get the fuck out of here, Cody. I wish Cody <laughs> Rhodes. I wish he's Co- like the last great white hope. This little Q-tip motherfucker. <laughs> I wish he's Cody the new Hulk Hogan. had the body build of his dad and his brother mixed. Yeah, Cody gets on my fucking nerves, dude. If, he was, though, if he was bigger though, if he was bigger and more yeah. badass and, and did it a little bit better. Uh, it's hard I'm to get behind him. I can't. I just. I can't, man. You know, like you could tell, like he's 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 sincere. Mm-hmm. Like you could tell, he loves the business. Mm-hmm. He's on top of it. But god damn it, he's just so overbearing, dude. Like I, I can't. I can't do it. No he's a Hulk Hogan. He's not that fucking bad. Hulk Hogan. Yeah, that's true. Shit. So Cody, Cody is a glory hog though. That motherfucker yeah. can't. Like, dude, when Roman came back, when he not even spoken a word in six months. Yeah. Roman came out, was on the mic for literally 30 seconds. Cody's fucking music hit. I was like, ooh, yep. you little piece of shit. <laughs> but is that know. what he's supposed to do? Do you, do you not think he's... Dude, it, the crowd groans. There's going to be a big build where... where the crowd fucking groans, There's going to be a big build where Cody goes heel, and it's going to fucking be fabulous. He's yeah, going to be a way better he, heel. Will he do the right thing and go heel, though? That's the thing. He wouldn't I do it in so. AEW. I think so. They begged him in AEW to go heel, and he wouldn't do it. I think he will. Exactly. I think he'll get to a point to where go. he'll realize he don't have the crowd behind him, and he'll do it because he'll understand he's got to do it for his fucking career. He's got to do it for his legacy. Mm-hmm. If he wants to keep it hot and stay on top, he's going to have to turn heel. Nothing like the intro of Raw, I regardless of which one Roman it was. Should have and fucking, stuff. Roman should have went heel a lot sooner. It, it, they forced that shit with Roman for ten years. I was yep. still yeah, a I fan. Had, I still loved him. I got tired of it. Most people didn't like it. At I didn't all. think it was going to happen. Sucking, sucking dash. Sucking. Yeah, <laughs> that, that was. That's All the right, only problem that so I where are we at? Where are we at on Raw? We're we're, we're we're Hershey, Pennsylvania. Yep. This is the first uh, pinfalls and power cords watch along ever. Yeah. And it's a Monday night Raw because we do this on Monday, so we're gonna watch the intro a little bit. They're showing that tacky ass fucking belt. I like it because of the green. I like the green belt. Dude, it's my favorite ta- color. Did you hear like everybody it. boo when they announced the fucking championship in oh, yeah. Saudi Arabia? Oh yeah. Nobody likes this, dude. Yeah. Nobody likes that they Why do this it? shit in Saudi Arabia. But they Why is it in a fucking case though? These people are our fucking enemy, dude. They just they beheaded and dismembered a goddamn American now, citizen. Now, 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 I we, like the way that the shorts go into the leg. Oh, oh like yeah. That. And, and can, like can we that. just talk talk about the hotness of Liv Morgan and how Dom <laughs> somehow landed two hot babes? <laughs> And not only that, but he's got a hot wife, too. And did you guys know how, how pissed I would be if I was someone who was, like, 5'11 and I had to wrestle him? Because this dude's 5'11. He just has a 6-inch neck. So the neck alone makes him fucking, like, 6'3 or whatever. But he's nothing more than a 5'11 man. Who are you talking yeah. about? Seth Rollins. Oh, yeah. He's got a 6-inch neck. That's the only yeah. thing that, that makes him <laughs> look like he's taller than, than what he is. Makes him look six six in the fucking ring. Now I don't know about these uh, the new. I still haven't grown. These guys haven't grown on that. Me. That guy right there though does good. The Joe guy. Uh-huh. He, I he don't does mind a great Wade great Barrett. Job. I like Wade Barrett. Uh-huh. He's, he's I've right. got a bit of bad news. He's changed from that. that. Gets now he's just now he's <laughs> basically Stu Bennett playing Wade Barrett. Yeah. yeah, he basically does a good job at being a color, uh, straight straight heel character like. So Joe here's plays the there's the future that we we talked about that last yeah. show how how dominating Steiner's going to be man and he's got a little brother did you know that oh yes he's got a little brother that's bigger than he is no shit and once it's doing the same shit another but Rick there's going kid there's going to be Steiner's yep. there's going to be I Steiners. thought Scott had a kid that looked pretty awesome nah dude I, it, I, he might but all, the one I heard and, and saw a story about was Braun's little brother. And he's he's a monster too. So to see the Steiners again, can you imagine? Can you imagine a yep. fucking tag team? Of That's what Steiners. I'm saying. The Steiners again. I want to see what. I, I want to see. I'm salivating for it. No, they'd be the Breakers. Mm-hmm. The fucking. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> it was so bad. 
Get when are they going to get rid of? When are they going to get rid of? I don't that? know, but that's you know what they horrible. call him? Huh? At for since it's Brian Breaker, they're going to call his brother a brick breaker. Brick breaker? Yeah. Is that what you think? And, and, what you yep. Brick breaker is going to it's going to be the worst name that they that you could ever think like, about. Like, why are you not calling him Steiner? It'd be fucking career breaker. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> fucking why business. are you not calling hey, him? Uh, look. But this way, they cost Jay Uso his this is cool, contract. and I, I, we're going to talk about this later well, in the show. Well, they, they had to. That's the only way to get the OG bloodline. Exactly, together. and also, but this is an awful way to start off Raw. Down. Don't they're, start off Raw recapping SmackDown. I know, well, right? but there's a reason for it. I bet because they're going to come out unless with, something kick. Yeah, unless somebody kicks show, right in, they're going to open the show with because something this about is it. this is supposed to be our this is going to be our SmackDown talk anyway. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I, I hadn't seen I hadn't seen this. They've already had the the. Coming up, SmackDown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they really tape it twice because yeah. they're going across these. Yeah, I've already yep. seen the highlights of it. Yeah, because that shit gets posted online. You know, gotcha. You yeah, but, um, but yeah, it. it uh, Do you guys think Roman looks smaller? Is that why he's man, not taking it's his hard shirt to off? Tell. He, he always look, wears that fucking hoodie. Yeah. And it, you can't tell. So I don't know if that's if that's why because maybe he looks kind of small at the moment. And, and he's the, trying to build it, build it, build before he actually has a match. And he suffered from a leukemia. Yeah, times. and that's got to fuck with you. Yep. He still has to do those fucking treatments. Yeah, and that's yep. got to fuck with you, well, yeah. especially motivation to work out and maybe being able to hold body weight and shit. Yeah. And that could be a huge reason why he's wearing a sweatshirt. He could have he could have a vest underneath to make himself even look bigger if he lost weight. Yeah. Exactly. You know? You know, so they I, gave these dudes the belts fucking three yes, matches in, huh? Yes, yep. Motor City, man, after all these years. They get it, oh, that fucking, man. And you could see the look on their face. Like, they almost broke down when they won those belts. You could see Cried. it on them, dude. Like, you could see how How would they not? I yeah. mean, they've been wanting Life this for dream. 20 fucking years. Yep. And they gave it to them quick. Do you think, yeah. do you think they're going to throw them under the bus now? No, I hope not. But did I mean, y'all know that you know? that was supposed to be the Lucha Brothers? That was going to be signing oh, Windows Textiles? no. And Tony Khan put a stop to it by extending the contract? I didn't know that. I heard Tony Khan fucked uh, uh, Phoenix. I yep. didn't know that. And by extension, you also fucked Pentagon because Pentagon was also going to go go there. Well, yeah. do you think that hurts Machine they're Guns? Still they're still signed. The Lucha the Brothers tier? are still signed. They're still going to WWE. Yep. But... That, but but that fuckhead made sure that he's gonna extend and keep them from signing Eric. I refuse to ever yeet in public. No, I'm never yeeting ever. I'm a fucking team no yeet. Sorry, I <laughs> yeet. <laughs> yeet. Well, yeet. My first time being there, I was yeeting yeah. up a yeah. storm. I mean, it's infectious. I might I might lose control if I was there. I say I try not to yeet. I'd probably have to yeet. I was there and I didn't yeet. <coughs> you didn't I, yeet. No, I didn't. Fucking this man yeet. had I'm team no yeet. <laughs> this man had stones. He seems like I am not. I will yeet. not. I will not step in my foot. This did you look around at everyone else yeeting? Oh, like a, everybody, like, dude. Everybody's fucking Did, did someone at least, at least look at you once and go, <laughs> <laughs> Mike refuses to leave. Team so no so yeet, how baby. far are we at in still watching SmackDown? We're seven minutes in, and we've seen nothing but SmackDown on Raw. Yeah. Yep. It's something else, man. And here comes Jimmy. Oh, is, I mean, is, are we live now? Oh, okay, so we're back live now. Yep, so yep, he just we've made been, an intro. We've been live. So Mike was right. We're actually we're starting off with the bloodline. Yeah. Yep. So I like the hot pink man. Jay is probably hotter now than ever. Dude, Jay's he bigger is. than I ever thought he would be. Now. Hotter than ever right now. I knew that the kid would do pretty well on his own, but I didn't know he would blow up like that. It's the fucking mo- it's the mullet. It's the like. It's the fucking bloodline. And yeah. it, it, it really is. He was incredible in that whole story. Like, Two years ago. Rome Reigns made this man into yes. a star. Yes, he did. He because this man, because remember that was a single feud between those two. Yeah, and, and people were were calling him main bit Jay Uso back then. Yeah, and, and he was and, incredible on the mic. He was just really just coming into his own, and he's really been something. He's been I, a big surprise to me. I kind of figured that that Jay was starting to turn into a bigger star than what he was. The more that he was inside the bloodline, because you start seeing the cracks starting to show. Johnny Lee, I forgot to let everybody know that they want to call in and talk about. Their, maybe they're at home watching Raw. Maybe they want to talk about some metal that we yes. talk about tonight or something, and they want to just be a part of the show. Um, you can call in at eight five nine six eight four ninety five thirty five. Call in, and you can be live on the show. Uh, I had a manual J gift. I don't, you know, I don't know who it is. It might be a made up person, but they asked, "Are you open to questions and suggestions?" I said, "Yes." Yeah. So if you're watching a manual, also you can. 
call in at 859-684-9535. Questions, yes. Suggestions, probably not so much. Yeah, Mike said take your suggestions. And Shove suge- them right up your asshole. <laughs> Sugge- or he could shine them up real nice. <laughs> kind of feeling like Turn that degrees, son of a bitch sideways. And shove them straight up there as Woody Pooh candy ass. <laughs> if your suggestions is to for you to send in money and give us money, then I say yeah, we're yes. We're down with that. But, yeah. any, but any other, we'll probably. I'll go yeet then. We'll probably. <laughs> I'll go but he had to yeet yeet. He'll be like, how about, how about playing some 94 points? Five soft wrong. Yeah, really. Yeah. <laughs> I want to hear aha, dude. I was so. What is this crap that y'all playing? Dude, so I, I was, just want to hear fucking, I was fucking. Uh, I was a uh, DJ at this bar. Uh, not not Saturday when it was fucking kicking, but I was at this other place, and it was a couple weeks ago. And this uh, there was two people in the bar. There were two. There was two. There was two uh, um, uh, ladies that were dancing. Three dudes over the table drinking, and then one Mexican dude staring at the two girls. Yeah, and. I'd been playing like dance music, and they came over and asked me. You know, I've been, I'd tell them I'd play them whatever they want. So they gave me a little list, and I was playing their music. And the fucking Mexican dude came up to me and said, "Hey," <laughs> <laughs> he did. He said, "Hey, can you stop with all this and play something romantic?" I was like, "What?" He was like, Ro- "Can you play something romantic so me and everyone, no one's dancing." I was like, dude, no one's in here. You know what I'm saying? There's, it's fucking, it's it's 11:35. There's five people in there. Nobody gives a fuck. My man was trying to hit. He was. He's like, can you be romantic? Your chin is a problem, amigo. <laughs> so, the only problem is, is that I don't think those two girls were went home with him. I think they were into each other. No. So I turned on fucking. I put on right said Fred. I'm too sexy. <laughs> and I said, ladies and gentlemen, for request by Migo, something romantic. <laughs> Oh he walked by and said, "That wasn't romantic. I'm leaving." <laughs> <laughs> what good? And he Take his ball left. real cold. Said, Fuck you, me oh, look, look while we've been talking, Jimmy, Jimmy and Jay. Oh, here comes Big Jim. Oh, baby, dressed in all red. Look, That's he's got right. a, he's got he's got a pimp limp too. Yep, yeah. he's got he's that swag going character. on. He's like, hey, you know, I'm gonna develop my character. Maybe I'll just kind of limp a little when I go. He's hey, also what, being dude. the funny one. Jimmy's been fucking great too, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. But are they so fucking similar? There's not a lot. That, no, besides, not really, dude. Their personalities are you quite think? different. Yeah, you think? yeah, yeah they I'm, are. Maybe I've not listened enough. Like, Jimmy, Jimmy's more articulate. Jay's more passionate. I don't like the pink and red next to and each other. Jimmy's it's also the uh, funny one. Yeah. Meanwhile, Jay's the serious one. This fucking microphone. I know, right? That microphone likes to give people a hard time all the time. Giggity, giggity. I, th- I think that I think that has a limp dick. <laughs> but look at this. We got the red, we got the pink. I know what I'm getting Mike for Christmas now. <laughs> the yeet glasses. <laughs> and he's gonna mop out to have no Has Cam Cam has yeet. Cam Cam modified himself into Jay Uso? I'm sitting here and I'm realizing that Cam Cam looks a lot like Jay Uso right now, doesn't he? Yep. Like, he, he does his natural haircut as Jay. Why don't he do a Jay Uso impression? Oh, he has. Oh, he does? Yep, he was. He wears the whole yeet? Yep, he had the yeet gear. He had everything he's yeah, doing. Those yeet sh- <laughs> Even his glasses known. are inspired I by I should have fucking yeet. known. So, I guess they're in here just fucking like, hey, are you my boy? I'm your boy. Well, they've already hugged it out you. like three times. So, now they're trying is. to see, like, the, I, I guess... He's trying to see if he um, and Roman uh, can. That's what they're doing right now. Yeah. Trying yep. to get Roman on the page, and I feel like there is zero chance that that won't happen. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Like I feel like they're just going. They're just going through the I motions. Th- I think what we need to see is Roman Reigns and Jay have a confrontation with each other because they need to sell stuff. Then we'll see Jay so if I go. All yeah, right. Yeah. I'm down. But, but Jay's but, chewing Jimmy's ass up about something. Yeah, but then I also mad. think about this. Jimmy looks sad. They got to prolong yeah. this shit. They can't just you know jump right yep. back in with both feet. But guess what? If even if they do get Jay, they still need a fourth. They need man. a fourth man. They need a fourth man. I got to say this too. Their match against each other at WrestleMania, something good, was the drizzling fucking shit. Oh, yep. was it? I didn't see you it. know it why? Horrible. Because I probably didn't watch it. I thought it would be really good. I thought they'll pull out all the stops and they'll fucking go. For this it. is the most I've ever liked these shitty. guys ever. I've never been a fan, dude. I don't like them. I don't like the fucking New Day. I've never they I they bored me to New death. Day. New Day, sucks. their tag team situation it. between those two teams just bored me to fucking death yeah. between them. Yeah. 
So I've never been a fan, but I, I like them more here. Like they're more looking like Marty Janetti and Shawn Michaels towards yep. the end. You know what I'm saying? They're turning into like their own thing. Not that J- Jimmy or either is a Marty Janetti. Because you don't want to be a Marty, I guess. No, I don't guess so. Yeah, you don't, because Marty you know, you fell off hard. But mm. name a tag team that separated and both got big. Does that ever happen? Not really. Name a tag team that separated and both got big. Yeah, it's usually one or the other. Like, that's rough, yeah. ain't it? It's rarely ever both. So how, this is something, like, this could be unprecedented. If you could get both of them over, that would be one of the first times ever that a Dom, they, and they're one of the, I mean, I don't know where the rankings are, but, dude, they've held the belts a lot for a long time. Yep. For I sure. I don't guess you could count Tully and Arn, but they both did I mean, pretty good on they, their own. It seemed like they had, they were established yeah, before, single uh, stars, and then, and then became tag team, because Arn was uh, with, uh, with Ole then. Yep. You know, and then you put them together. Yeah. But, but that's him. close, though. But that's yeah. close. Exactly. But that came before Shawn Michaels and Marty Janay's are, bra- are, are the Brain Busters going to beat the uh, Usos? Would they beat the Usos? They would. I think so, too. They would. The Brain Busters would, the brain busters would defeat uh, the, what, uh, maybe a spike pile driver from uh, yep. Top Rope? Nobody can survive Arn Anderson's spine buster. I liked his brain buster his go- or his gourd buster, too. Yep, he finished a mini too. man with the gourd buster. He would destroy Jay Uso <laughs> with it. You don't see enough gourd busters. I feel like a gourd buster from the top rope would be a hell of a finish. Yes, yeah, so we need that to be a finisher again. Because that was a badass move. Is, Did it, Jay get something in his eye or is somebody he crying? some shit in his eye? Who's crying? I think so. Don't cry. Don't cry, Jay. It's only a flesh wound. That bitch ass Hulk Hogan used to have to rub fucking hot sauce in his eye or whatever. Hulk, Hulk Hogan's like, nobody's going over tonight. Yeah. I'm going to be the champion. Here's the deal, guys. Macho Man was champion. No. Make it so that I'm the one that what? beats him. Oh, 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 oh the shit. Here. Oh, this is what you wanted to see We're the whole time, off. dude. These two yeah. teams against each other. I wish fucking Tongaloa would actually come out and kick some ass and look good for a change. Where's Jacob at? Oh, you know Jacob's he's there. Jake. Oh, there he is. There, there he goes. Oh, there he goes. He's, he's turned, turned deep loose. It's all oh, baby. The fucking Jacob. Oh. It's over now. It's fucking Usos. No, but he's are wearing fucked. he's wearing he's wearing Jay's colors. Yep. Usos are fucked. And he just attacked Jay with super yeah. kick. Once they turn leash the beast, it's done. It's over with. And now he headbutt the back of Jimmy's head. He's wearing Jimmy's colors. I mean, oh. Oh, there! This is war. Stinger we've, splash. We've been begging for this for years now. To yeah, have yep. Jacob, Jacob in this fucking company. It's, like, it's, it's been wonderful. He sure has because he's got the aura. See they've these? actually pushed him right too, which yep. I'm amazed. But if if Vince McMahon were still there, they would have never done this shit. Right. Yeah, Vince McMahon would have changed his name from Jacob Hart to something stupid. He would have put him in a goddamn shoulder pads and had him come out looking like a fucking <laughs> Mad Max uh, character, like, like like how he did. Night Jack. He's like, you know what? What what would be good for you? I want you to wear a full body suit. Who's, who's, yeah. so who's you look music better. about to hit? Who's music about? Are they going to destroy them or is some music going to hit? I don't know. Somebody's <laughs> coming out. They're, they're, they're alone right now. Uh, if Roman comes out, it's going to fucking blow the place. Yes, it will. Look at this. He's doing the prayer. Uh-oh. He's about to unleash. Nope, Here comes the done. attack. Oh, he hit oh, 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 with Jay. Oh, Jay oh, called with Jay. Oh, Super oh, kick. That was good. Super, Super kick. kick. That's Uh-oh, all they know how to do. Now they're going to double kick fucking Jacob. Oh, yeah. but he took it though. Oh, my God. Oh, he, he just poked out of it. Fuck you. Yes. Come on, Jacob, you fucking monster. It took two <laughs> super kicks to try to put that man out. Good. And why'd you just sit there, Solo? Hell, you could have fucking just two to Sol- two. Solo's been the most bitch made fucking leader yes. of any group ever. Solo's been Worse great, than, though, dude. He's, he's getting good. He's, he did his role, uh, but mean, as far as fighting. He's been wonderful at doing and filling them shoes because those are impossible shoes to fill. Yes, they are. You, you just you can't fill Roman Reigns. Well, right they shoes. just fought off. They fought off three of them, dude. Hey. Jimmy Uso and them got lucky because they run. hit the double super kick. Pretty good run, dude. And okay, okay, I'll give it to them. Decent opener for Raw. Yeah. Yep. Decent yeah. opener. It's it, the fucking bloodline. I bitched about it for seven minutes because I, <laughs> I didn't want to see the goddamn SmackDown shit. Yeah. yeah. But they turned it around. Yeah. Did pretty good. I um, knew it was coming as they were. Now we're gonna go. All that now shit. we're gonna. Now it's time. We did the we, some uh, some pinfalls. Now we need some power cords. So yeah. we're going to go to the first thumbs up and thumbs down. Um, we got a bunch of different music sent to us. And like I said, I went through and kind of grabbed all the 2024 stuff that I could that I could find. Uh, but last Shit show, that was sent in to us? Uh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Yeah, so people are listening. We, uh, people don't realize we've been off for a long time. Yeah, we took a year break. You about know, a, year, a, lot a lot of shit break. happened. What, a lot eight of, months, you know, nine months. 
Um, but we uh, a lot of people should, uh, send stuff in. So if you guys uh, send in more music, if you guys know any <laughs> bands or have any music of your own, uh, send it to us. If it's older, you better let us know because we're gonna ask you why. That's right. Be like, why are you sending it to us if it ain't if it ain't badass? But this is Grand Mangus. <laughs> Grand Mangus. Is G- it Grand Magus? Grand Magus. It's Grand Magus. This is a this is a signed band, brother. Oh right. They've been around for a while. Oh right. Well it's it's a song's called Sun Raven. They're killer. It showed on it. I looked at the comments and they were like, Oh rad, they're back. Oh, they're killer. So this is a new track from them on a smaller label. I've got like four of their fucking albums. I'll oh rad, so you know a little background. Oh on hell them. yeah. Here we go. They're fucking killer, man. Well let's rock it out. They're real oh, like, like I said, all, all these all these bands are pretty like these are all solids. Yeah. This band is really good, man. Real old school sounding, they're cool. Well, when he reminded me his look, it was like that Jimmy Mitchell we seen last week. I <laughs> yeah. was like, well, is this the same guy? And I was like, yeah. no, I can't. he ain't got the pipes. No, no, they don't sing that well like him, no. But they rock, though. They're good, man. They're old school. Like I said, we have three songs like this that we're going to choose whether or not they'll make it into the Battle of the Bands. And then we have two that's actually going to be in the Battle of the Bands later in the show. Yeah, you can't call these guys independent, though. They're, the, the label, they're, they're a lot, they're they're a lot bigger overseas than they are they're here. Si- they're not really independent. No, you're not going to find any metal band with anything for you to listen to that's independent on no label. You're not going to find any. These are not on a major label to where they'll uh, copyright infringe us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If they don't send us a cease and desist and fucking, yeah, yeah. let's go for it. We're allowed to, we're allowed to play this and listen to yeah, it. I imagine Greg Magnus does it. It'd be like, you motherfuckers didn't tell us that y'all were going to play our song on there, so yeah. I cease and desist. You cannot load. You cannot use us no more. They are dressed like an 80s wrestling band, though. Yeah. Yep. They got that sound. They're very old school sounding. Their early stuff was real Sabbathy. Okay. Uh, it sounds like they've kind of evolved into more of a rock, of just a good hard rock sound. You know? Rad. Well, I dig this. It's easy listening. Sure is. I like the spikes, man. I feel like it's uh, it's not used that much anymore. So when you when you use it, you use it tastefully. They look like just some some old heavy metal fucking vintage rock stars. Now, the viewers that are watching our show, are they seeing this video and hearing us? Or they're, how, they're what hear, are they they're seeing? just hearing the music. They're just they're hearing, hearing the music. The music. They're not okay, seeing the video. they're not seeing the video. No. Is there a way we can patch the video in in the future? No. I'd have to film it live. No, we'd have to film it. That way the We wouldn't have to know. film it. There's got to be a way. People do it all the time. Uh, well, just, I'm not tech savvy enough to know how to do that's it. That's a post production type thing. I've never, yeah. I've never been able to do it live. As y'all that, can see, anytime I've ever did it, it's post production. They dress like '80s metal wrestling. But we give good description. Our voices will describe it well. Exactly. Yeah, the singer's got a fucking like one of those really old school biker stashes, like the old Sam Elliott. Yeah. Well, yeah, if you're yeah, listening to it and you want to know that bad, just look up the video. Like I said, yeah. we're listening to it. It's, we're listening to the song Sudden Raven. Grand Magus. Grand Magus. That's right. Look at them. They look like an 80s wrestling band. That guy with the bald head is going to talk to <laughs> someone. Yeah. The guy with the long hair is just going to big boo. guy inside the back doing the drum, he's probably going to that drum set to bash someone over the skull with. He looked like a slim down Billy Superstar Grand. So you think these yes. guys are good enough to get to get to get somewhere into our competition then? Well, sure. Hell yeah. Yeah, they're established. I mean, I, I, man. I, I They've been I around this, for a while. I give this a thumbs up. Yeah. Yeah, they're a good band, man. We never do the same song from the same band when it goes into exactly. the next round, though. Well, I, that's exactly. good, because I'm not as big a fan of the song as I am the band. Yeah? Yeah. So that's a... What do you give it, Johnny? Is that a thumbs up or a thumbs down for you? It's thumbs a triple up. thumbs up yeah. for the Grand Magus. That's right. They knew what they were doing. Yeah, Grand Magus been around for a long time, man. Well, that's a whole lot of fun. They're solid. What we got going on in Raw? Now, let's see what they're doing. 
I'm glad you pulled them up. That's a good band. Yeah, like I said, the ones we got, they're all like seem pretty established bands. So it's probably a bunch of stuff that you've heard, but there's it's nothing that's got millions of views. There's you you know. Well, good because a lot of these bands deserve yeah. to be heard. That's yeah, like, that's how I felt too about to, it. They don't get to fucking play. Uh, look at this. We got the we got the judgment. Oh, Dominic's pouting. Yep, Something's he's up. He's got that pouty bitch look on. Oh, he found out who he's wrestling tonight. Um, oh, remember, man. folks, if you guys want to, we're watching Raw. We're doing a watch along. We're listening to tunes. We got a battle of the bands later on in the show. And if you want to listen or be a part of it and call in and talk or or uh, uh, give suggestions, that's right. <laughs> it's eight five nine six eight four ninety five thirty five. I'm digging that shirt that he's wearing. Latino cheat. I can't. Well, I'm just looking at the shorts, man. I can't lie. I don't give a shit about that. I mean, else. she's sexy as fuck. Sexy, and I know it. Man, I used to hate Liv Morgan. Mm-hmm. And she, like, drove me nuts. Like, why are they pushing this fucking 80-pound girl? Has she rubbed on you? Yeah, she's grown so she, on me, dude. I'm yeah. a fan. I'm a fan, I gotta admit. I'm she, a fan She's now, way dude. buried in half the women that they brought in way back then. Since she's been doing this storyline with Rhea, she's been fucking gold, dude. Yeah. I gotta give it to her. It's all been... And she's been better than anybody else in that fucking crew of hers. Her crew now is kind of fucking yeah. thin. Yeah, but, I mean, not it's only... Thin. Not only has Dom's her, her good, mic though. skills yeah. completely blown up and gotten so much better but her in-ring work too man she's mm-hmm. a, she's finally working like her size yeah, yeah. you know what i mean it's and a, i think that's part of her being a heel is she's figured out how to work as a small girl yeah and do the things and make it look believable exactly, exactly. especially when you're up against so you don't want to make Rip, ripley look weak in any way yeah imagine if, if Riho came out Riho would fucking goddamn double ddt fucking rhea ripley and goddamn raquel yep that fucking move everyone does, a Canadian Destroyer. Yeah, I Canadian that Destroyer shit. over the top rope, through the chair, through the table. <laughs> it only worked when P. Williams was hitting it. And it was devastating. And I couldn't yep. believe that they turned it into yep. a regular move. Yep. They turned it into a super kick. Such yeah. a dominating move. If, like, if Lex Luger or Sting or Muda... Or somebody like that would have brought that out in, like, you know, 89, 90. <laughs> the Canadian Destroyer would just been fucking epic. It would have been, the, it would have been like, uh, the fucking Stone Cold Stunner now. Yeah, exactly. but it, it, you couldn't have done it in the 80s, though, because it's just bullshit. Yeah. The but, move is bullshit. You have it, to do it to yourself. And yeah. the DT also got, got yeah. ruined because they do it all the time. Yeah. And, and it's not cool. Post kayfabe, you just... Yep. Pre K Fabe, you never could have got away with the fucking yep. Canadian destroyer. And, and they don't understand that doing too much of it, you ruin the fucking finish. Well, yeah, like a Young Bucks match. Yeah. Oh, here's one. What about when Ethan? Hey, Page, somebody said they just tried to call in, but they got the voicemail. Oh, uh, they did. It, it didn't tell me. He said he was trying try, to get it five try minutes. Try again. Okay, we're trying to fix that. Somebody said they just tried to call in, but they got the voicemail. So if you've called in and tried to get the voicemail, just text us and let us know. Or uh, just try to call again. Um, Brittany Himes yeeted. She just, I don't know when she yeeted, but we don't yeet at the house. <laughs> yes. No Himes yeeting. She going to yeet, she said. No, she knows I yeet. I, I yeet to annoy her. Norm, normally, like, I'll yeet a couple times, and she'll be like, shut the fuck up with your yeet yeet. Yeeters will yeet. I'm calling them instead. <laughs> oh, I think he said he's calling you back. Oh, shit, there's a ringing. He might not answer. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. Uh, we, we got a missed call here at Pinfalls and Power Chords. Who are we speaking with? You speaking with Carl from the Shining Beavers. Oh, oh my God. I heard all y'all's nonsense and trash talk, and I, I'm, I'm calling to defend myself and podcast him. Yo, he done invented the podcast by cooking up two IBM computers together. Back in 1992, and using a bow quarter to talk about wrestling matches off of WCW. What the so, hell? So, <laughs> what y'all got to say today, son of bitches? We haven't mentioned your name. We there wasn't me- no goddamn WCW back then, Carl. And IBM closed down 15 years ago. <laughs> you, you goofy. Well, we're talking about a long time ago. I mean, 1992 was a long time ago. And I was on crack at the time, so I don't crack get my dates mixed up, but that's what <laughs> he was talking about WWF then, now WWE. Now, well, I, I didn't even have to say anything for you to degrade yourself, Carl. You're the one talking about I ain't degrading myself. I'm honest. I now found Jesus uh, back in 04, <laughs> and I got off the pills and the crack, and the only monkey I still got on my back is that old crystal meth. But, you know, that's my business. I got to take tests. 
He spelled, he spelled so, meth, and he's like, you can't spell meth without M-E. Let's go. Right. That's damn straight, now. No, we haven't mentioned but Jim Barr. We haven't mentioned Jim, Podcast Jim. We were trying to put that shit in the past. We wasn't trying to. We didn't even mention you. So your first statement was a bold-faced lie, Carl. Well, you know, uh, when it comes to lying, y'all talk about you talk about podcast and podcast Jim invented it. But I'm gonna be honest with you now. Podcast Jim don't know I'm calling you. Do he do don't know it? nothing about this. Well, what, do you think he'd appreciate you calling in for him? Then why are you calling in? Then what's really going on, Carl? If, if podcast, I, I, I have him, some concerns. Now, Charlene, I don't know. I know Charlene since we was in kindergarten. Now, let everyone. And know she's who like Charlene a sister is. to me. Let everyone know who Charlene is. Charlene is a podcast Jim's fiance, and they've been married. I, just, I have some concerns. <laughs> Well, what you because, say, Carl? well, I heard this about the meme ball getting pushed out the window, and I, I just, I don't, it's really concerning to me, because I'm afraid that he's going to push Charlene out the window next, well, and then he's going to come for me after he done figured out I called you, so, did he even ever own a rascal scooter? D- okay, listen. He, he tell- don't go on any second floors with him, Carl. He, yeah, he tells right. his side of the story, Carl. And I think he's been filling your head with a bunch of lies. Like I said, he tells his side to make himself look good. And I think he had something to do with somebody being pushed out a window. But I didn't say it. I just heard the rumors. But he he tries to say okay. that I started the rumors. And, I, and the scooter, I had to get it towed. It was parked in front of my business. I didn't sell it. All he had to do was pay the tow number. Note to get it back, and they could have got it back. I didn't do any of that, Carl. Well, he don't have a driver's license, so how is he going to show identification? I don't but know how exactly. he's supposed to. That's not my. That's not my issue, Carl. But I think you. Need All right, to since, 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 he could have since, since you, you, you got an ID, right? He could have taken uh, uh, care of it. I, I don't have. I had to change my name for legal reasons. <laughs> um, <laughs> So my my name is Carl my Carl. name was was Carl with the C uh, Jones originally now but I done changed it to Meth Kicker uh, with the F M E F H C double O K E R double O double O like double O seven but hey 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 I got a I got a question let's hear it Carl. Do you really got a 14 inch ding dong Nick Hines? Carl, you can't. I can't. Exp- <laughs> Carl, we're not. What you about- do with the extra 11 inches? I only got five, and my woman's happy. <laughs> we're not talking about my penis right here on the fucking air, Carl. This is my advice it's to lies, you. It's all lies, Carl. It's all lies. This is my advice to you, Carl. <laughs> you need to watch who you're hanging out with. I think Podcast Jim is a bad influence. I think you need to question him, and I think your next show with him, you need to question his. Uh, stories he's telling you because Carl, I, I'm just we're just straightforward, we're straight shooters. You seem like an okay guy. Besides your drug problems, we'd love for you to call in and be a part of the show and talk wrestling or whatever you want to do. But we just can't uh, be accused of all the bullshit, Carl. Okay, hey, and Carl, if you're with Podcast Jim, remember stay on ground level at yeah, all don't times. Don't go to man. the second floor with ground you. level. Well, well I, I, I got a window. You want to at least be able to land on your feet, you know? Any right. higher than I got a strip of oxycontin that just. <laughs> Fun went missing the last time we were drinking together, me and Paul Cat Jim. So I think I might be just a nice guy, Andy guy. But I'm gonna call Charlene because I, I told her, I told her that that maybe he had pushed her out the window because I heard that from the sheriff, Jim Bob, tell, tell uh, Charlene, down there in Huntington. Tell Charlene that if 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 uh, podcast uh, Jim uh, does that beating on her anymore, that uh, Jimmy is super fly Lee is sitting right here and he likes titties. That's right. Oh, that's good. I like big old fat black booty, personally. <laughs> All right, y'all take care now. Well, Andy, w- All right, Carl, so be safe. Thank you, Carl. Be safe, Carl. Y'all take care now. Bye now. You too. Poor Carl. I feel like Carl's a victim of, j- of podcast jam. Yeah. He's just a victim of circumstance. It sounds like it. He's just a victim of circumstance. So I guess uh, it's time, uh, that special time of the show when it's a uh, uh, um, what are we calling now? Now it's album of the week. Mm. So it's like album of the week, uh, uh, album of the week, <laughs> album right. of the week, and uh, 
I got a good one for you. Michael Lynn Watkins is going to. I guess we can, we can still put the uh, we can yeah. put the, the the raw on while he's talking about that. Uh, okay, the guys, grab your pens and write this down because this isn't a name you hear very often. And dude, these these last few that you've that you've named, uh, what I do is if I haven't heard of them because a lot of these I haven't heard of. Yeah. I'll I go bet home you and, haven't heard this one. Either. I'll go look them up on Spotify and then download mm-hmm. a few of them, and they've been fucking bangers, dude. They've yeah. been a, a really entertaining. So make sure you guys write these down and uh, and That's go right. check out the album of the week. <clears throat> well, what I would recommend to people this week to check out is a band called Io Ton. That's I O T U N N. Ioton. I like it. The name of the album is Kinship. Very cool. Uh, very experimental. Somewhat progressive. Good shit. Where do you find? Where did you find this? Did you just randomly go and buy. Dude, album I listen and shit? to every fucking thing, man. Like I just listen to shit all the time. <clears throat> but when, but when you say listen to shit. How do you get it there? Like where where where's your where yeah your, where's your thought process? Where does it go? Like where are you, are you buying it and then putting it on at home or 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 where's your sometimes? But I mean, I'm not a fan of streaming, mm-hmm. but I pay for a streaming service just so I can hear music, new music, and I not go and I decide what to buy from that. Okay. Hell yeah! Okay, so you go through and you just kind of like, hey, well, who's this? Who's this? Who's like, this? oh shit, I love these guys, and then I'll order the record and go buy it. You know? When you're doing that, how many do you fucking uh, swipe right or whatever? You know what I mean? You're like, oh <laughs> fuck that shit! And how many uh, make you go? What the fuck is this? <laughs> the good stuff. I put it to you this way: my best of last year list mm-hmm. was 25 bands. Oh wow, nice. that's a lot then. I couldn't come up with 10 favorite. Mm-hmm. Oh well. Last year was fucking stacked, man. It oh, so a, that's a lot though for you then. Okay. Yeah, it was a great, great year. Oh, last okay. Year for metal, I had twenty five different bands. Yes. Oh, okay. twenty five different albums. Oh wow. Okay. That I all that all of them I loved. Maybe we should do that. Maybe uh, you know we're going towards the end of the year. Yeah. Maybe we should do the top twenty metal albums of the year. Oh yeah, absolutely. That could be fun. That could yeah. be something that we could uh, always do a top get ready ten for, list for like anyway. The, the holiday show towards the end of the exactly. show. Yeah. We're going to have a Christmas show, Thanksgiving show. Well, I'll tell coming you what, up. I've got a couple already in mind that. I really love that new Ancients record. I've heard, I and got them on it. A N C I I E N T S. I like it. Ancients with an extra I, basically. Go ahead, check it out, guys. Their new album was solid. Uh, that fucking blood incantation. That's the best thing I've heard all year, man. That thing is solid yeah. as fuck. Yeah, solid. I heard that. <laughs> I've only the, listened the to two Opeth, or three songs on it, but the new Opeth drops in two weeks. I've seen that. That's my favorite fucking band, <laughs> so I'm sure it's going to be incredible. So it's been another really good year, man. It's they've had a lot of good albums that have came out, but dude, last year was just so fucking stacked. Like, exactly. It was ridiculous. I feel like metals came back really strong in the last half decade. <clears throat> like it right just came it back has. really, really, really fucking strong. <laughs> uh, we got Rhea Ripley up there on the screen, looking sexy as fuck. <clears throat> yeah, they've uh, they've been on this Live Girl. Shit. This is the fourth time I've seen her on the show already. Yeah, Rhea Ripley is so fucking badass, man. Yes, she is. She's a superstar <clears throat> waiting to happen. Yep. I wish we had a child. I wish I. I, wish, I just wish, man, that we could, uh, like, mix them. You know what I'm saying? Like the video, ga- the way you can do them video games when you download those characters and you fight this one with this one. Yeah, I'd like to see Rhea face to face with China. Me too. Just to see it. Just like simulation. Yeah, just a big Me simulation. Too. Dude, I loved China. Like you know. Uh huh. It's another one of those examples to where, you know, I, I love me some Jim Cornette, man, but I can't always agree with him, and I don't yep. agree with him when yeah. it comes That's to China. Right. Yeah, her her belief building is great. We I all thought China, China was incredible. <clears throat> I thought she was truly special, and I hate that she got treated the way she look, did. Look, me oh, too. Oh, there you go. Did I not call it? Sammy Zane. Uh, Sammy Zane. Uh, Sammy Zane with the uh, Usos. Uh, hell yeah. We're building it up. Now, Jimmy and Sammy don't like each other? They yep, haven't apparently. for a while. Remember. Oh, that's before, right. That's right. I remember that. Yeah. Yep. Because remember, before. It, oh, now Jimmy's going to. So now he has to get him to agree. Yeah. Yep. And also, you got to think, before Jimmy and the Sane, they start liking each other somewhat, but Jimmy always did not like Zami Zane. Yeah, that's right. Meanwhile, I knew, he, I knew, he, had, I knew he had beef with one of them. But that's perfect, where they have to. You got to like Roman. You got to like Zane. We all got to come together for one single victory. Exactly. And meanwhile, only Jay's right now filling Sammy. Jimmy's like, nah, what's the point of having this goop here? 
Because Jimmy but, never did like Sami Zayn. What? To him, he was shitty. What's Goldberg doing? Did Goldberg walk out? No. Goldberg uh, and Gumper, I think they're teasing having Gumper versus Goldberg in the near future. No. Oh, that would suck. Oh, yeah. That would be three minutes of a horrible match. Uh, you all you have seen, seen the last pay-per-view where Gumper was trying. He's like... Hey, look at this. Oh, I saw we have he Goldberg. Would, he was ragging on Goldberg pretty bad. Like, you would think, okay, if he's going to rag on him that hard, they have to be planning Maybe something. Maybe just yep. for, like, Goldberg to, like, do some kind of interference. Because Goldberg likes going overseas, too, to that yeah. fucking Saudi yeah. show. Mm-hmm. So I bet he's going to come in, and that's how Cody's going to win. Well, that'd be a fat yeah, paycheck for Goldberg, spear. too, yeah. just to come and in. And then and he's do not going to do it. He's not going to re- Like, that's yeah. not a match, dude. You can't do that to Gunther. You no. can't do that to him. No, you can't. Not after he's did that with the U.S. belt. He's been incredible. What, what, what about last night? He's been incredible. We had I didn't see Bully this. Ray. I didn't see this. Oh, this was a good show. I actually watched it last I night. I heard Bully Ray on a Busted Open today talk about it a little bit, but I didn't see it. I we like, talk about Halloween Havoc? Yep. Yeah. I didn't watch it either. I right? like how they're starting to come around with fucking Pillman's kid. I look at that. That's a Delta. She's a badass, right? From Shit, Japan. Look at yep. She looks fucking cool. Yep. Oh, dude. She's a beast. Yeah, dude. From what I saw last night, she F5'd and Who she hit a spear. She? My she's God. New. Yeah. You got to check NXT, her out. Her name's Zaria now. Oh, but she's yeah. called Delta. Start watching some fucking I'm NXT. I'm telling you, yep. you, next week, dude, Tuesday, it's at ECW Arena. Yep. And check out Julia and Stephanie McGuire. I love me some Julia, man. Yeah, dude. Yeah, NXT. And she's doing uh, that Nita she hit Core J with last night. Knocked her teeth out of her mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I dig I dig her, man. She's a badass. Um, let's go ahead and go into our next thumbs up yep. and thumbs down. Um, let's find it. We got a band called Salt Wound. Salt Wound. You know Salt Wound, Mike? Hardcore band? Yeah, and it's a Severance. Severance. Severance, there you go. Yep. Severance. <laughs> <laughs> I pronounced it like a retard. Nah. Oh, we got Maverick Studios. Isn't that Mike? Yeah, yep. Severance. Mike, uh, Mike uh, hit me up today, Johnny Lee, and said that it turned... Yeah, here we go. There we go. Oh, hang on. I'll, t- I'll tell you in a minute. It's basically like a scream old metal band. Seems like it right now. I don't like old English. I hate old English. I know, right? Because it's hard to tell what's what's on the screen. Yeah, we're seeing the video, and some of the font in the video is old English style lettering. I hate old English. the The video is very dark, very uh, strobe light. Yeah, screams. Uh, unfortunately for these they're, guys, there's so many fucking bands that sound like this. You know, it's very dull. It's just a lot of really muted chords and chunky riffs. There's and, nothing to set them apart. Well, yeah. Let's see if they got a breakdown in here. We haven't gave them a chance for a good breakdown hook. Let's see where we're going. Well, they have more than just this screen. But uh, with Maverick Studios, he hooked me up and said that he's fixing to go wrestle one of the pit bulls or manage a pit bull. And he was asking if he could talk to me when we got over. And then he asked if it was okay with you guys if I talked to him. And I feel like he just asked me that just to kind of try to start a little shit. I think we should have some kind of, like, debate. like a Not like a master debate with him or nothing, but just a debate. I've not, not heard to, no not, breakdown. Not though. to circle jerk. I don't want a master to bait him. <laughs> and I've not heard no breakdown. So it's no breakdown. Yeah. Well, no the breakdown whole yet. song sounds like a breakdown. Yeah, it's it's like, the whole thing. Like that's just the kind thing. Of, yeah, it really does. It's just one breakdown that's riff all, after that's another. That's all I've heard from me. The same damn scream up. Salt wound. Salt wound because I mean, they're, they're, they're heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. They got nice equipment. Have we heard anything different from this? No. I don't like people that comb their hair like that. What style? Not the bald guy, that guy. The little turnaround. Yeah, like the, I can't the, stand that. You know why he does shit? that? The Conan O'Brien deal. Because he thinks that he's cool like yeah, Conan yes. O'Brien. Yep. But the thing is, the only Conan like O'Brien could pull that shit off. Yeah. Like, you can't be hardcore and have a bitch haircut. Yeah. You can't have a stylist haircut. Like, what the fuck's the point of it? I guess that's the breakdown. Yeah, apparently it's the dum, breakdown, but it's still dum, heavy. Dum, dum, dum. And they're going to go back to screaming. Yep. 
I was right. <laughs> no, there's no differentiation from the vocals. There's nothing to set it apart from anything else that you've heard like pretty this. Pretty boring. Yeah, it's pretty much got a boring set piece to it. Are we all in consensus that we're going to go ahead and shut this one down? Yep. You guys yeah, want to shut it down? I'm fine with it. Let's shut it down, yep. guys. Thumbs down. Uh, you know, all, 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 all kidding inside and everything. You know, they had they had it going on. They, they you know, with the with the equipment and and their sound. You know, they were probably doing what they wanted to do well for themselves. Yep. Or they probably. I'm sure that it. if you see them guys live, they're, they're probably, probably slamming. Probably you know. badass, but it's probably uh, it's but, probably a pretty violent pit. Everybody's probably you know fucking hopping for them. Just but not into yep. it. To I'm sit and listen it. to it, but I'm but not, there were, but there's really no to set the power them apart. It's, throws it it's down not as interesting. A, as a no. Yeah, it's not interesting. For like you gotta have something to set you uh, set you apart from the competition. Mm, we throw that down as a no. Imagine yeah. if WCW and WWE. Or WF. Oh, there's was the man being Dude, if I see fucking Goldberg now after this, dude, I'm just gonna fucking just cut my dick off and go across the room. <laughs> how do they well, how do they put Cody over Gunther? By I mean, Goldberg. Goldberg. That's what they're about to do. Goldberg. I'm telling you, that's it. Goldberg's gonna be in, he's gonna interfere, Goldberg's gonna spear him, <laughs> then Cody's gonna pick him up in his little twisty tornado he does. Yeah. And get the fucking one, two, three. You know hey. the only way I would settle for Cody going over Gunther? Well, no. Cody goes heel. Oh yeah, cheats not and fucking not, not, cheats and we. I, I would, would fucking, I would become a Cody fan. Dude, if, if, he, if he came out in full Iron Sheik, oh, I'd, I'd cheer for Cody. All. If Cody went you shit stupid. heel, I'd cheer you for him. Fuck I up. mean, that would be a lot better. <laughs> but you know that you know what's gonna happen. You're gonna have Gumper get speared. Then Cody's gonna hit the stupid ass crossroads. Or even better, times. <laughs> have Brandy come out and hand him a foreign object. That gets uh, yeah, well, like I said, that'd I, be great. I call it here, dude, and I'll go ahead. I'll go ahead and throw, throw. Like I said, I'm not a betting man, but and I hate the LWO bullshit. Yes, like, yeah. because yeah. it's nothing like Eddie Grills. But. Yeah, dude, it's just lame. I like her, boy. But man. I say Goldberg yeah, is going to scrumptious. Goldberg's going to be how Cody gets over at at uh, Saudi Arabia. I'll tell sure. you what, we're going to see is a spear, and then Cody gets up. Well, Hits the crossroads three times. Yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, while we're watching this bullshit, um, let's uh, let's see what's going on. Let's talk about AEW. Oh, okay. um, so I watched the first episode of AEW that I've watched in like two months. Dynamite. Yep. I did. I missed it, dude. You're a stronger man than me because I've been avoiding it like the play. You didn't watch yeah. it either Wednesday. Nope. Because John Moxley AEW and his crew all the same. They've been terrorizing the entire company. That's right. They're mm-hmm. pulling some in, NWO type shit. You know, where they're like the outsiders and the whole company, yeah. the whole roster. But do they have the star ability fucking... to do that just with him and Cesaro? I you don't think so. You know who they're fucking building to be the leader of the locker room huh. of the company to push back on Moxley? Huh. Who? Oh, just guess. Daniel Garcia? No, worse. Fucking Pockets? Darby Allen? Yes. Pockets? Oh, God, no. No way! Hawkins came out and said, I'm not a leader. <laughs> and oh fucking my walked out of the ring. Orange juice squeezed out his ass. Yeah, when everybody looked at him like, please save us. Please lead our fucking... Be- I'm not a leader. Hawkins is like, I'm going to be the steam. I'm going to throw shit. tampons with orange juice in the ring next time I'm at an AEW show. How fucking pathetic out. is this? Dude. And Anybody that's a... I tell you what, if that fuck face came out once a year... And did some little goofy fucking match like mid card. Okay. To where yeah. he did his little silly shit and got over and then left. And then got jobbed by who's really being built. I'd be billed. fine with it. Exactly. But you're putting him in the ring with serious fucking wrestlers and having him go over so, them. So and they've not done anything to change his character no. from pocket. So, and he fucking super punches. Exactly. So get it right. It's, so check us out. So they're building a crew. That's taking over and putting AEW on lockdown and yes. on warning and beating down everyone, black and, and blue. This, the yeah. reason for it is an orange cast. Felonious assault, like you know, is the sting and the, is and, the luger. Yeah, the Bret Hart and the Macho I'm Man. Not a leader. I'm not a leader. Get the fuck out of here. I won't be surprised if he cuts a promo just like Sting did the night that he turned his back on WCW. Finally, I think Sting comes back. Yeah, Sting should. Because Sting at least to be knew the leader what he's of this, To be the leader of whatever. Like, not to fight, but to be, like, the voice of who goes. I mean, that, who else do they have? I'm and telling he, you, Tony Khan is going to book Orange Cassidy against John Moxley. And here is Moxley's That's reason rough, for That's why rough, they're doing dude. what they're doing. Because they're, they're taking what, what Tony Khan's done in real life, 
with, with the bad booking and the shit and the, also the uh-huh. WWE stars that get over no matter what. Yep. And he's like, it's not going to happen no more because this is my locker room and I'm in control of it now. And we're not going to take this. It's just, well, motherfucker, why, why is Ricky Starks why, being held why down? Why is still going bad booking? Exactly. Well, yeah. I, I, let, me, let me tell you this. If you were wanting to put together a baby face crew out of that roster to push back against Moxley, uh-huh. who Kenny better, Omega? Who, no, well, Omega's still on the shelf. That's true. The who, who better to lead said group <coughs> than fucking Mark Briscoe? Yeah. Yes. That's Mark what Briscoe I was should be his top baby face. But instead, he just fucking did a job for goddamn, uh, goddamn Chris. <coughs> that Chris pissed Jericho. me off. I was fucking pissed. Well, I think he's gonna get losing that the Ring of Honor title <laughs> to Chris Jericho. Yeah, with why the most did he even gimmick? get another goddamn title shot after losing it at the pay per view? I think he's gonna get it back. Yeah, but Briscoe's gonna get it back. But, but it kind of kills his momentum now that he's yeah. lost it. Yeah. It's bad booking, as yeah. it always fucking is. Yeah, I mean, they they had a chance. To make Mark Briscoe be the mm-hmm. guy that could go up against John Moxie, but they instead be like, "No, nah, I think we'll just do Chris Jericho again, and then <clears throat> we're gonna have Chris Jericho yeah, and a take fucking his ladder title match. from him and a fucking ladder match." Yep, and then well, it's gonna have to be, it's, and they, they expect us it to it like that shit. It almost have to be something like a Kenny Omega or something, then, though, because like maybe Orange, maybe maybe they're doing this, dude. Let's look on the on, on the on the bright side. Maybe they're building the Orange Cassidy because he's gonna step up to it. and He's gonna get beat up. Yeah, he's gonna lose. I wish. He's not going to win. And then they'll have to go to somebody else. Yeah. Like maybe the, the build for they're someone to come back like, to them. Like Cassidy's going to be uh, the great white hope that comes maybe, in and But maybe they're going to do that a couple times with a couple different people for the for for for, for, for you know Moxley and them to beat them down and win. And yep. maybe they're going to build it that way and then bring in someone that would be of nice. some real circumstance. You what know, if they try and have Danny Garcia be that someone? No, he'll be uh, another one that fails. Dude, they're it, putting yeah. Danny behind uh, Orange. Exactly. They're booking Orange over Danny Garcia. I know, right? That's crazy. And it was hey, worse. You got motherfuckers like goddamn Will Hobbs sitting at the house. Yeah, and Ricky Starks sitting at the house. He had yeah. to go to Glory and Pro Ricky just do Starks. something. And goddamn Wardlow, where the yeah. fuck is he at? Yeah, where the fuck did Wardlow go? Because I thought Wardlow was supposed to. Wardlow was that big storyline when he wins the, 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 the AW title. So no fucking Joe. Wardlow could yeah. at the house. And Joe's also off filming for Twisted Metal. Well, that's right. He's doing the show. That's sweet, too. Yeah. But I like the other Joe. guys have a legit reason why, why they should, should be pissed off. Because they, they had storylines going Powerhouse Hobbs. And Ricky Starks and Wardlow, they all had storylines that were big. But the, but and you they notice, would all be credible opponents for John Moxley. Exactly. And Ricky Starks got fucking screwed over by Adam Cole. I will stand on that hill because that motherfucker got mad just because he got called bug He got fucked over. That's yep. why he it should go sucks. to WWE. Because Ricky Starks was built up as something big. Ricky and what Starks happens, need to get the fuck away from that company is what he needs yep, to do. Yep, because that company don't see no value in him. He's a star, uh, and Rick, they don't see a star in him. Ricky yeah. Starks would look good on the But they see NXT. a fucking star in Orange Cassidy. Ricky Starks would look good on the main roster. He would. Yeah. Ricky Starks would be great you against Seth l- Rollins. Imagine that fucking match, that pro- program. Well, exactly. I, you don't think he's a little small? And what about Warlow? No, man, he's cut. Fuck, he's, yeah. I mean. As long as you're ripped. Yeah, he's not a big guy, but he's, he's still six, Is he 6'1"? Six, yeah, I think, I think so. He's six, one. I mean, yep. he's not a little bitty dude, man. I mean, he looks little compared to fucking Wardlow. Yeah. And I, I feel like Wardlow comes to, over to WWE. Yeah. You got Brian Breaker, Jacob Fatu. You got Gunther. Yeah. You got all these big guys that he would have bangers with. Yes, and it would be fucking great. And exactly. Guys, and he'd be pushed like a star better. If anybody out there wants to be a part of the conversation, we're talking AEW wrestling and metal music. While we're watching Raw, seeing uh, some uh, LWO lady shaking her titties. On Turns out oh, Britt yes. Brit Baker is single. Yeah. yeah they, they split up. Hey, yeah. now's your chance, Michael. Yeah, yep. she's a Pittsburgh fan, shot. too. You know, she's a Steeler girl. So. Uh, well, yep. let them know, though. Call in if you guys want to be a part of the show. 859 684 9535. You'll get a free dental. Adam, Adam Cole's just had a negative hit after negative hit after negative hit. Adam Cole lost what made Adam Cole. Because but, since he came to AEW, it's but, like it went downhill. Well, he did finally the be- the better of what I've seen happen when he came out and got back with his dudes. Mm. That seemed to go a lot smoother than yeah, him but, trying to call out MJF. Yeah, but it's still, but, it's still not 
It's yeah, stale. Not fucking it's stale. It and Kyle O'Reilly's looking through the camera. What the fuck is Kyle O'Reilly doing? What's he watching the looking TV like fucking sulking about? Like, hey. go out there and high five him, too. He wants to be a part of the crew. The yeah, old, hey, old, go out there and high five Go out there and part of the fucking crew. You. I just want to be a team player. <laughs> and Cole's like, nah, he I'm miss, with the cool kids now. He misses his buddy, man, who was Fish. Bobby yep. Fish. He but see, fish. Bobby Fish, Bobby fish got fucked up. You don't even like Red Dragon? Fuck Bobby Fish. He's an asshole. Dude, I seen a... I seen a Great rest. But fucking shitty human being. At a, at a, at a Ring Fish. of Honor show, I seen a. I seen He's a, an asshole. Did you see what he did to Punk? Uh, that match he had with Punk, dude. He fucking he fucked Punk right in the rain, dude. No shit. I didn't, no. Yeah. When was this? He it, fucking AEW? kicked out on three. On AEW. Yep. Yes. This motherfucker kicked out on three. Didn't oh, want to fucking try to prove a point. Yeah, he was trying to fucking go into business for himself on live TV. Why don't I remember that? No. Did he get and fired then, for and that? And then called Punk the out. But he's not with the company no more either. I don't think nope. so. No, he, he got let go. Yeah, he got let go. What? Right lose after your job happened. if you do something like that. Yep. Well, I think that that was probably one of the big reasons why they let him go. Yeah, you can't do that. And fans talk about liking them too. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. If, if you're not going to be a professional when it comes to that, like you can't, you can't do that. That's a golden rule in professional wrestling. Don't go in the business for yourself because as soon as you do, you're fucked. Yeah, but the, I, the greatest. I, but I gotta, I gotta defend on one one instance though. When that happened, when I actually yep. enjoyed it. Huh. And if y'all seen this match, you'll know what I'm talking about. Jungle Jack Perry mm-hmm. versus Roosh. Oh, Roosh kicked out and on it. Roosh fucking kicked his goddamn ass for 30, 20 straight <laughs> minutes, dude. And I mean, fucked him up. And then just laid down for him. Rubbed his dick on him and everything. <laughs> <laughs> so I go live TV, threw him on know. his fucking head outside. It was the goddamn greatest fucking no sell. Fuck you he that I've ever seen, dude. Like, yep. It was really. I didn't see that. Yep. I remember I'm gonna have to look it up, dude. You got to get online and watch it. Roosh, I seen Roosh live. Oh, what, what about, what about before, when they live? This was before Jack Perry went heel. Now they okay. were pushing Jack, yeah. and then then remember. They and Roosh just said, "Fuck you! I'm, I might have to lose this match, but I'm gonna fucking slap you remember, like a bitch the whole time." Before Jack Perry showed back up, they played the footage of Punk fucking his ass up backstage. Yeah, and they're like. We, well, we were going to play it because we think this is going to play the storyline. <laughs> it's going to make Jack Perry look good. Nope. Make Jack Perry look like a bitch and make Tony Collett look, look like a bitch. More, more like a man. Yeah. I uh, I, I never it knew about the verified everything stuff. Punk's in. Yep. I like Roosh a word lot, Word for word. Man. Dude, Roosh is a badass. But you yeah. could tell, when you watch that match, you could tell that Roosh had that fucking job face on. Like, yep. he wasn't happy Yeah, that they were putting Perry over him. So he he just made it. It, was probably, it was probably earlier in his... Yep, uh, I he, made an, there too. he made an example of him, dude. Like, he he made Perry more. look like a beast. Cornette was even mad about it. Cornette was even like, I'd fire at some of a bitch. I'd meet him coming through the fucking door and, and smack hand him, him right his <laughs> shit and tell him to fucking go. <laughs> yeah, well... But then after that, all that shit came out about how Perry was... Shit talking to the fans and how he was an asshole. So maybe he deserved it. He was just getting a fucking lesson. I think he yep. pissed him boys lesson. off. Getting a lesson. And they learned. taught him a fucking lesson on live TV. Especially because Roosh, who better to do it? If if Roosh didn't want to fucking do that, he wasn't going to do it. Exactly. I think he's one of the better uh, Mexican wrestlers. That oh, out. yeah. Hell, he is like he's, by he's, far. He's something legit. But you can dude. also tell. Intense. He's a very cocky motherfucker. Mm. Bruce is. Yes, he is. And he was letting Jack Perry I know. I guarantee hey. you Perry pissed him off, and he fucking yep. went out there and had his way with him. I, I feel like Jack Perry would have been constant, because remember, he's the reason why Punk even even got into that conversation, because Punk wasn't trying to <clears> fight him. Like Punk said, he, he just has him. Mm. Why the fuck would you go on live TV and shoot like that? Yeah, and then Perry, Perry saying, oh, well, if you don't like it, do something about it. Yeah. Gets, gets his fucking head ranked inside. Yeah, Perry, yeah he was but, about to do something. But, but remember, he was telling his team to tell people that he escaped that hold yeah. with ease and that Punk didn't do anything. Yeah. Punk did everything that he said they did. Mm-hmm. And Joe had, had to be the one to be the voice of reason. Like, well, hey, Dude, that, that ass whooping was so... Just blatant that like every podcast in the fucking business was talking about. <laughs> I didn't it hear about exactly. it. I didn't I have to know. watch it. I don't dude. know. That was the best. Hear about that must it, have been one of them weeks I slept for like two days. You had to because goddamn, it was all over every that show. That was the yeah, best. I watched about, 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 about how, three podcasts a day. How bad Roosh look, uh, made fucking Perry. Maybe look. next show we'll watch the beatdown live. Yeah, oh, it, we'll it, just we'll just do a live t- view. Dude, of I the laughed. Beatdown next show. I laughed until I fucking died. I'm gonna have to see it. We'll have to watch this live next show, dude. Yes. Because you can find it on YouTube. We'll critique it. 
I'll find it. It'll be a, it'll be a part. Maybe we need a segment oh, of the week that we watch. It's like fucking the, glorious. A classic segment of the week. It, it, it's the, the best beat down I've ever seen a wrestler give to another wrestler. No shit. <laughs> yeah. Jack, Jack no Perry, shit. Like, yeah, it really crazy. was, man. Yeah. Like, like Jack Perry had it coming. You know, you just it know that. It was blatant. You know he had a receipt for something. So yeah. Jack Perry pissed somebody off. Jack so, Perry's that tight. So what we got going on now is we ha- we're going into the first out. No, we're going to still stay on uh, Raw real quick. Oh, still on Raw. But we got the, the second hour getting ready to start. So how important is the first segment going into the second hour now that Raw's a two-hour show. You it's got to be very important. you got to be able to hook well, Are they trying to hook people at the beginning of the hour? I don't what know, do you think? Because in the middle hour, they're just kind of they're just kind of cruising. I don't feel like they've you know. built anything that's at the end of the show. I don't know what the main event's supposed to be. Yeah. Well, I love that they have introduced Sammy into the Bloodline story. Real, yeah. That's Me nice. too. That's smooth. That's I smooth think to open that. up this Eric, you Roman, gotta. Roman's gonna have to do some making up with Sammy. Here we go. I didn't know Hershey, Pennsylvania was so, was so big. Now look at you got the uh, November kickoff is at one p.m. our time. Damn, that's just that's Friday. Yep. I and the uh, <clears throat> we'll be talking about Crown Jewel next uh, show. We'll yep. be talking about that Monday. Exactly. That. And. Saturday, Saturday, is, Saturday we're going to be doing a watch party. Saturday is the crown jewel. Also, there's a kickoff show on Friday, and then Saturday right. that's is the, a... That's the pre-recorded show. Oh, okay. And then 1 p.m. Eastern is, is crown jewel. All right. So what we got at the beginning? We got Seth Rollins starting yep. it off. Let's hey, see what kind of I told you off That's it. how they start the second hour, Seth yep. freaking Rollins. You got to start it out hot because he's, get, this guy and Bronson Reed have been having killer. At well, least that's not bad. That's not a bad outfit compared to what he normally yeah, wears. Yeah, I was getting ready to say, at least he's not dressed like fucking Liberace. Yeah, he don't have no sleeves. sleeves like you know, his wife, the... well, his wife was the one choosing his outfits before. What do you think no. happened to her? Do you think she's going to come back to WWE? Or she I gonna, hope she, she, she probably calls, will. I hope she calls it a day, seriously. You don't, you're not a big fan of her? I was. What happened? I just got sick of her. Yeah. She's my newt. Plus, she's a uh, She fucking went away now. into nothing. She don't look athletic now. She looks like she's fucking tiny. She didn't stay. Plus... Stay. Plus, she lost she every keep bit herself of her in shape. form. Plus, I, what happened to Bianca when she uh, was told to go out there and squash Bianca when Bianca was champion? What happened? That was at SummerSlam. She came oh, back. Oh, yeah, I remember that. She I remember that. Yeah. And they, they're like, that was so surprising. Like, did yeah, that really that just bullshit. happen? Yep. That was bullshit. I and like, Bianca that was really crying about it. just fucking happen? Yeah, that was bullshit. That pissed everybody off, too, man, because people like Bianca. They didn't want to see that shit. She lost all That's when exactly. That is when she lost all of her yeah. momentum yep. now that I'm thinking and about it. And it killed Becky, too. Because yeah. everybody was pissed off at Becky over it. Yeah. So exactly. there went all Becky, her, Becky there went all her good will. Becky never no, recovered, No, she did never she? did. No. Nope, she didn't. Because there went all her good will, and it fucking hurt Bianca, too, man. So this guy's feuding with that big monster yep, dude. Yep, big like Bronson Reed. The modern-day Bam Bam Bigelow. Hey, I'm telling you right now, Bronson Reed, he's athletic for a fat guy his size. Yeah, dude. I wish he there was no more. Bam Bam. There ain't nobody no Bam Bam. He's, he's able to do, do uh, he cartwheeling, baby. Yeah. He's able yeah. to do, do things I wasn't expecting him to do, though. Yeah, he, he can get around for a big guy. But you, you know who else can move is surprising. Is that fucking Ivan or whatever, the, the fucking yep. war Ibar. raiders from yeah. the war raiders? Yep, yeah. Ibar is fucking yeah. awesome. That fucking dude can get around, man. He's back. At, they're back as the War Raiders, too, which heard, is great. Yeah. That was yeah. way better. Than, than I, I, was, I was like, I was, hell yeah. I'll tell you a story about when I met them. That was eventism. Events did that yep. shit. I met those guys when they were still in uh, uh, Ring of Honor, and I had, I had like third row tickets, and I'd seen them. They were in the opening match, and they had just became tag. They, they, I think they were actually, no, they were tag team there at the time. Yep. And they were up in the very bleach seats where nobody was at, and I just like looked over, and I was like, there they are up there. It's my chance. And at the time, I was really into getting fucking signatures and shit. And I had a joint in my pocket. And I was yeah. like, I'm going to go up there and fucking ask if they want to smoke a doobie way up there where <laughs> nobody can fucking do it. So I get up there, and I'm like, hey, guys. You know, they're surprised. I'm like, can I get an autograph? They were cool. And I was like, ah, I got a doobie, too. <laughs> and they were like, oh, we're straight edge, dude. Neither one of us smoke. Appreciate it, though. Oh. I was like, cool. So I smoked cool. it by right. myself and walked over. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yep, they're straight right. edge, just like yeah. young punk. Yeah, they smoke, smoke it all. All right. And very, right now, very cool dudes. Very Seth, nice. Seth yeah, my brothers right ain't afraid to eat match. a Big Mac, though. You can tell that. Well, dude, when I first seen them, I was I was at Ring of Honor in Tennessee, and they were having that uh, that tournament that Ring of Honor always yep. had. And those two made it to the finals. I watched the whole tournament, and it was those guys that was in the finals. And then one of them got hurt and didn't wrestle for eight oh, or nine damn. months. Yeah, he didn't wrestle for a long time. And then they got back together as a tag team when when he came back. Hell they, yeah. They were impressive, dude. That was, that was a hell of a show. That was also the show that uh, 
uh, AJ Styles uh, made his uh, appearance at Ring of Honor. Nice. Yeah, it was, it was a fun I look show. at Big Bros Reed's chest. You're up on too tight, Tron. He's a monster, too, man. He's, yeah, he's they, don't need to, they don't need to put him in the ring together right now. Do you yep, think Seth's right a little now. frail, guys? Do you think he's a little in, injury prone? It seems like. Well, Bronson, oh, Seth. Seth. Oh, Seth. He's had a lot, man. He's yeah, he had has. a lot of injuries over seems the years. Seems like about, he comes back for about a month, two months, and then something fucking, you know. I think it's been a case of him just never fixing what's been wrong. I think yeah. back too soon. I think he's been working through injuries. Look at his neck sticking out of that fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Something that comes up higher on his neck. <laughs> That man has been doing something to elongate his neck so he can look taller. Yeah, like yeah, I said, he, he wrestles all these big dudes, but he's literally like, you know, a five foot ten guy. He does he doesn't work out with weights and shit either. He does like that crossfit type yep. thing, yeah. you know, where it, it it keeps him limber. It's the way he's been able to do the shit that he does, but um Yeah. He's going to hunt down fucking Oh, there you go. He's looking for big Bros Reed. He wants to pop off this shit. He going backstage to Gorilla. Look at he their fancy little for. office. Their fancy little office in there, man. I See, like they it. don't need to get their hands on each other right now. But the best thing is that even if they do get their hands on each other, it's built up as a brawl. Ain't nobody gonna listen to last Pierce. week they were doing it. There he is. There they go. They're, they're, well, they're fighting and brawling there goes outside that. parking lot. Uh-oh, he's about to fuck Somebody's about up. to get yeah, hurt. He's about to fuck them up. They're building up. To, they're, they're making this a heated feud right now. There you now. go. Fuck security up. That's fuck right. Em. Fuck the security. Oh, oh got thrown into the car. Not Told my Cadillac. You. Told you. Oh, got him up. Uh-oh. Oh, world's Told strongest you. slam. to fuck him up. Onto the things. Oh, no. He go, Oh, he tried to climb up there after him. He gave him a little boot. Seth Rollins just threw the door into his face. <laughs> Oh no! Don't throw him into the wall. Oh door. no! Not, don't oh. walk, don't walk into right the, the fucking face. door, Bronson. Uh oh! Here we uh, go. Curb stop. Curb stop. Hey. Onto the car. That's a nice. And one. he's out. He's out. Yeah, that's it. But he pulled his groin. Yep, he did. I'm don't tell say. me that you're injured now, Seth. Come don't, on. Don't pull your groin in front of us all. Yeah. Don't pull your plug. No, that's that's a good little beat down, I guess. He got yes. the best That's of him. That's all right, yeah. It, it's a short and it's sweet and, if, and, and it going, leaves you what he's up. Oh, here he's comes. Up. Oh, no. He's, he's up. He's back now. He's up. Oh, there he goes with Big Boot. He ain't going to get him <laughs> twice. Gonna... Super kick to Bronson Reed. That was a pretty good super kick, man. Yeah, at least he made contact. From that angle, you have to. Oh, oh hit damn. him with toolbox. Yeah, that's it. Oh. That's it. Uh-oh, he's going to get him again. Oh, he's going up to the trailer this he's time. He's going to get him he's again. Miss this. Oh, but wait, he, he, he took too long. He played possum, he played possum, or go bam. Oh, <laughs> trash can to the head. That was a great trash can to the head, That was, guys. that was beautiful. That, that was, was beautiful. a beautiful shot. That now was, he picks him up. pretty. Is he about, oh, slams him to the trailer wall. Oh, now don't. What's he about to do? Don't injure him again. God <laughs> yeah. damn it. Don't oh, injure fuck. Him. Be careful, dude. Uh, oh, I'll, what's I'll, he I'll doing? Oh, out of the tree. Oh, through the tables. There we go. With a death belly drop. On a big old thing of cotton. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> right, look, he can't even get out of it. Adam, Adam Pierce is crying about it. Adam Pierce is like, I didn't say that y'all could fight. Yeah. Like, is there water in here? It's like getting off of a water bed. At this point, collapsed. if I was Adam Pierce at this point, I'd hire better security. Yeah, dude. Maybe I'd, I'd some guys getting, that are bigger than these I'd guys. I'd be getting tired of this shit. <laughs> yeah, because at this it's point. every single fucking week. Yeah. Yep. It's you the see, backstage area is like the most dangerous place Allow me to play America, devil's advocate, yeah. though. Oh, look, and he's coughing up crickets. You never uh, see this happen <laughs> at Nick Aldis's show. Smackdown, because Nick Aldis will whoop all their asses. Oh, shit. Do you think there's going to be an Aldis uh, Pierce showdown at some I, point? I, I, oh, I, I wish I there guarantee would. it. We be, probably at least Survivor it. Series, Team Aldis against Team Pierce, you know, at first. and then Fuck maybe let them just go. They can yes. both go. They, they can both go. They can both go, dude. So we got another song, man. We've been, uh, yeah. Wrestling's yeah. been good tonight. That's a WrestleMania yeah, match. Yeah. Wrestling's been good tonight. Watching the Raw's been, been pretty good tonight. I was, I was like kind of iffy about it. I was like, man, if Raw sucks, that's going to be a real shitty way to go <laughs> well, into it. Well, if it sucks, we'll just make fun of it, too. It's been, yeah. it's been right. pretty good so far. But we got our, it's our last thumbs up, thumbs down of the of the show. Um, this is uh, Devin Townsend. Oh, thing? God. You, we, can't, we can't fucking. No, we can't do him. You don't like Devin? Yeah, but so does millions of other people. Really? Check this he out. He don't need our fucking help. He Devin don't. Townsend's big artist, dude. With Knuckle Dragger? Yeah, he just put a new album out. Knuckle Dragger. Yeah, he don't need our help, dude. Well, He's doing just there. fine. We'll just check out Knuckle Dragger then while we got oh, yeah. okay. it. You remember, you remember Strapping Young Lad? Is this it? I don't think you turned on the right what? thing. You remember oh, the band Strapping be, Young yeah. Lad? What is it? You remember the band Strapping Young Lad? Yeah. Okay, that was Devin Townsend. 
Oh, cool. He's been solo for years, dude. He's got several albums and, oh, a, hu- super and a, neat, a huge fucking fan base. Well, we got the call in. They're all they're all on the list. We're going to dump down on his ass if he's well, bad. Well, no, he's great. He better have a good but song But he here. just don't need our fucking help. <laughs> <laughs> but, you, he don't need the airplane. But also, we got to be fair. If it sucks, it sucks. If well, it sucks, I mean, I'm thumbs down uh, it. I guarantee you they're not all zingers. There we go. But he's an incredible musician. This one's a little different. This song's a little different, too. Yeah. I remember how the beginning of this one went. Yeah, he sounds like fucking Sammy fucking Hagar singing yep. or something, dude. All of his shit this is different, man. Good. Like, you might oh, he hear this. It up a lot. And it, yeah, he's got a whole big wide sound, man. Oh, like, cool. It's really cool. Some stuff might be real slow and really pretty, and some Switches shit might just be well. straight fucking death metal. And I like yeah. the name of it, Knuckle Dragger, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and you I think those it would be a heavier something. track, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's like knuckle dragon cross someone's chin or knuckle dragon cross the table. Yeah. I mean, I like the little techno type thing, a nine inch nail the ministry Sith, the Sith type metal feel. as well. Yeah, Sith, dude, Sith was good too. He's got a huge following. Ton, ton of shit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I seen on the thing where it had his uh, page. He had like one hundred ninety thousand followers. That's the kind of guy though with, that we need somebody listening and, and uh, pushing us. Yep. So, yeah. Like I said, uh, I appreciate everyone sending in stuff. Uh, He's an incredible musician, We're too, probably going to get a lot more stuff that you think is a little bit more mainstream compared to the other stuff because we're not getting that I stuff. I would consider this mainstream. Like, right if now. you can yep. get some of it out and you can find some, I'll be more than happy to play it. Okay. But this is about all I can find right now is a lot of this. Like, who knows what's going to be sent next week. But a whole lot of it's, like, right there in the middle. Like, it's I'll come up with some. Yeah. That'd be great. It sounds a little muffled, though. Yeah, it does. Why does it sound bad? Turn it like down that? a little bit. Turn yeah. it down. So it's, turn it down so it's. Like, you're about, about to sixty. That singing sounded muffled. Mm-hmm. Nice little breakdown. Was well, that? <laughs> Guns yep. I heard in the background, laser guns. Yep. Sound like laser guns. Dragging his knuckles. <laughs> I mean, he also sounds, sounds a bit like Ronnie James Dio at the beginning. It does this. <coughs> well, this guy's getting a thumbs up because he... Well, I don't, I don't know if they're, if they're, if it's too mainstream. I don't feel like we should yeah, put it definitely. into the next round. True, because it needs, too mainstream. <laughs> I don't think it needs to be in there. Yeah, I think it, I, yeah, I was, it's I, nice. That I, I think, think I'm gonna give. I, I think I'm gonna give it a thumbs down. Yeah, because and I don't really like it that much cause, either. Cause it's not. It's not a. Not yeah. one to go up, go up against the other band. Yeah, yeah. He, he's got much better shit, but yeah, he doesn't need our fucking help. Yeah, we'll go ahead and kill this one. Appreciate uh, whoever sent it in. Yep. And Devin, you're the fucking man if you're listening to it. That's right, yeah. Devin. His new album's called Power Nerd. Power uh, Nerd. Yeah. Power Nerd. Yeah, and, and it, it fits him. You know, he uh, he's a great fucking musician, man. And yeah, yeah. His stuff is all different. Like, if you didn't like that song, it don't matter. He's got 50,000 other different oh, look, sounds. Look, look at that. Show <laughs> that. Our truth. Some yep. shit you're going to love. Some of it is... This is the know. band that I'd heard of before that's in it. It's a Haste the Day. Haste uh, today, yeah. Yeah, they're, 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 I, know, I knew I'd heard them before. They're kind of mainstream, and, too. And they're going up against uh, Vind, Vinded? Vinded? Yep. Vinded. Vinded. You, here's who they are. That's Corey Taylor's son. Oh, wow. And Clown's son. Nice. Oh, boom. I've never and been. They did their own band, and they sound fucking just like Slipknot. Like, no yeah, shit. Like, like ridiculous. Well, then we got, a, we got a bangers in this. this yeah, that, that's they sound our, just like yep. Slipknot. Our battle of the bands is thick. Yes, it's it a is. thick battle of the bands today. And I like that dude, man. Like I, 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 I like Karrion Cross. Car- yeah, Vince fucked him too. Yeah, yeah he fucked did. him at the gate. But I feel like he's got size. You know, he's got he's got a mouth on him and all that good shit. But here's my he's here's my problem with Karrion with Cross. What's that? This motherfucker grow hair the whole fucking time he was being bald. <laughs> 
Does that make you mad? Yeah, because I ain't got nothing to work up top. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you, man. But then, then you got this sexy ass woman. What about here. what about Otis, man? I like. Otis. I love do, Otis. Do you guys think, man, that uh, you guys know legendary Larry D, right? Yep. Do you think mm-hmm. he, he just barely missed the boat on being Otis in WWE? <laughs> yeah, by about I 50, think so. By about fifty, sixty pounds. <laughs> <laughs> if he just barely missed the boat, man. Yeah, because because Otis is, is a star. Yeah. It, from from being a heel to also his comedy, he gets it over, man. Match. He gets it over, man. I, I mean, he even got Manny Rose over by being inside love, love, uh. Bless your prayer. I think that Andy kiss Rose that they had. Back. Do yes, you guys think if here's here's a question? Do you think if our truth stayed on the TNA side of things and never went WWE, that he would be more of a legitimate wrestler with the belts, like and be you know a a, a, a prized a wrestler instead of kind of more of the comic act that he is in WWE. He probably would have. Because he was so good. When I first started seeing TNA, when he was wrestling AJ Styles and, and, and Low Key and, and all those guys, man, er, uh, shit, Ken Shamrock, er, you know, early TNA, he was awesome. Like, exactly. he, he was a new level. He stuck out. His, his moves stuck out, dude. And then when he came up here, he seemed pretty tough and then just kind of turned into what he is now, which is a star, which is awesome. But I feel like sometimes when you when you want to be a wrestler, you want to have the belt too every once in a while. Exactly. Who are you talking about? Our truth. That's what I thought you were talking about. Yeah, dude, our truth. He's fucking older than I am. Yeah, and, and just still going. able to go like that. He's awesome. He's fifty four exactly. fucking years yeah. old. And when he and when he he does the same shit. When he was in his twenties, though, everything was so crisp and so good, and and he had such spring and everything. Yeah, he he's killer, man. He is. He's always been fucking good. And this, this LWO shit's just fucking tarted, yeah, dude. Like, come on, Rey Myster- uh, Dragon let Rey Lee Mysterio, be let Rey Mysterio be a legend, act like he is, and let Dragon Lee go. Let Dragon Lee let him do fight. his fucking thing. Exactly. Don't put them together for this, dude. Because Dragon Lee is a star. I mean, but I would like to see these guys against Motor Machine, uh, the the Machine Guns. I like too. to see El Idolo come out and just whoop both their ass. Oh yes, because Andrade is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Hey, he's Andrade's he's been on fire since he came back. He's the baddest motherfucker in the company. Yep. Yeah. And, hey, that you suspect that he hits, that's a badass thing. That's yeah. better than, than Chris Jericho. Oh, way version. better, way better. Yeah. Cause he, cause it he gets it me every bad. time. Every time I see him do it, like, you would think I would know that's what he's about to do. And he still gets it off. And I'm like, God damn, how did I not see that but, coming? Because cause he's, he's great at misdirection. He's He'll fucking make you slick. Yeah. yeah. You think he's pulling up that big kick, that big boot like Hulk. Hogan yep. used to do, and, and next thing you know, he whips out the elbow. That goddamn elbow, dude! It fucking it, it's, it's here. They are guys. We just there is about War Raiders. Them. Well, Ray, it was nice knowing you. Yep, right, you're dead. And so is Dragon Lee. Sorry, Dragon Lee. You yeah. were supposed to be a star, but who are they going to put over? Are they going to are they going to put up? They better the War fucking Raiders put over win. the War Raiders. You yeah, the War Raiders need, need to win because I bars will be on the road. You don't think yeah. this is going to be a build for a tag team match for they, Saturday and somebody's going to interfere? They better fuck probably. Up with these guys. This is going to be an interference match, dude. They, they ain't going to exactly. let any one of these teams lose. One of these teams is going to what's get es- Escobar going to come out and fuck it? I don't know. Probably because Escobar locked inside a heated feud forever with them. Yeah. But then again, we ain't seen them feeling with Escobar. So it'll probably be someone else out there be feeling with. Maybe another Dominic. guy who's great and, and doesn't really get used to his full potential is Escobar. Yeah. Yep. There's a lot. You, you, could have a, you could have a third promotion. Yeah. And then, the, I, what is this? What, oh, wait, no. Wait, well, wait. No, somebody's going to win that. Allow, allow, me, allow me to play devil's advocate, though. Yeah. Xavier Woods is starting to turn heel soon. Mm. Well, what's taking him because so fucking long? Kobe's the reason why because they're building up. They got to first pinned. build it. Kofi's getting pinned in this match. Mark my words. Yep. And and uh, I, I'd say I'm going to go with the the big guys are going to get the win. Yep. And I feel like Xavier Woods is start, starting to turn heel because yeah, he's, he's starting sure. to show signs. He's wearing black. Cracks. Look, he's wearing all black. Yeah, he, yep. is. he, he is. He's been wearing that all black for weeks now. Yeah. And, and he's been giving Kofi Kingston a lie for why he's wearing it. Mm-hmm. He's like, I, I just want to change up. You get a fan something different. But then he's been attacking Ray. He removed Ray's mask and then it was like, here's an accident, but it was not an accident. Yeah, they're getting the win now. Now now I think the War Raiders are going to get the, the big old win for sure. And Kofi's getting the pin. He's getting pinned. And our troop, uh, our troop uh, don't like Xavier Woods now because Xavier Woods was doing him dirty. Our truth likes everyone. 
but not Xavier Woods. <laughs> he well, actually that likes tells him. you right there he's a piece of shit. Because if, if, if our truth don't like you, you know then there's, there's the issue. Yeah, shit. there's some fucking issue. And Xavier's like, why? Why didn't you shake my hand? Cody's like, brother, he he he's mad at you. He's mad at you. Xavier's like, I don't know why. <laughs> well, Xavier, maybe you shouldn't have attacked our truth. Well, guys, night. while we're watching this, we have uh, we actually have the topic of the week, which we're, or the countdown of the week, the top three, where we've been doing like we say something, we talk the top three of what yep. we uh, what we think of it. I thought uh, since last week the Mike's ventilation was women's wrestling, mm-hmm. yeah. that we should do the our personal top three women in wrestling, not oh. women, not women wrestlers, women in wrestling. <laughs> Any woman just involved? Just active right now or all time? All time. All time. One, two, three. Yeah, Boy, yeah, Well, that's, that's a tough one. That's a good it one. That is a tough one. That's a good one. I'm going to take a big drink of energy drink, a little pop yeah. on this little puff puff. Yeah. And then we're going to talk about the ladies of wrestling. That's right. And that's a tough, tough one, too. They're a good tag team, man. Like, they, they throw moves <laughs> together that highlight them. They don't just do the cool new move. Like, that's cool shit, and that's theirs. You don't see a lot of other teams doing that. Yeah. And that's what like, that's what a lot of teams miss. They, they just, can pull off that dominant shit, too, because of their size and their yeah. power. And weirdly, they're not really that big, either. You know? In, well, in 1988, I, I was pretty fucking big. <laughs> what, is, is, is he 320? He's every bit. You think? Oh, yeah. Every, I'd say 350. So, Johnny Lee, top three. Women in wrestling, all time, right off the top of your head. And you know we're all going to m- mess it up. We're going to forget somebody that we fucking like. Yeah. And if you guys want to tell us your top three in, call in, 684-9535. Uh, well, I got to go with China. Number three? Yes. Or one? Three? Three. Three, China. That's, that's a big number for China. Yeah, because China. All fucking time. China was the only woman to win the Intercontinental Championship. Dude, and that's believable, Herbie. And also the Jared. first woman in I thought World Jared World. was the perfect wrestler with wrestling capabilities and validity to make China fucking get over. Yep. That's perfect. And plus their storylines with Chris Jericho and Ed Grail, where Chris Jericho and her was feuding on and off for the IC title, and then Ed Grail was being her Latino heat. and him. Well, I didn't like her fight win. Jericho, man. I liked Jericho too much at the time, and I thought Jericho was being kind of fucking jobbed around fucking with China. But, but he like, was. Like, with, with Jared, it was believable because I always thought Jared was a bitch. Like, that's just <laughs> yeah. how I always thought. But to me, great worker, though. to me, Jared was fucking, like, Jer- I mean, to me, Jericho, from television title and WCW on until he got old, I thought he was fucking legit. Exactly. Like, he was the wrestler's wrestler. And when Jericho's feeling fair... Yeah, at one time, he was great. Yeah. Know. And when Jericho's feeling fair, they kind of made him bitch because at the time, he kind of rubbed, rubbed the people backstage wrong a little bit. Mm-hmm. And cocky. so they, they were basically... A cocky Canadian. Sense. Yeah. Who's your and number they, two? They're like, all right. Who's your number two? Number two. This one's a tough one. I'm going to go with Bianca Belair. God damn! Woo. She's awesome, dude. She's really good. Yes, she is. She's the, is she the best in WWE right now? She is one of the best. Is she the strongest? Oh, she's by far one of the strongest. Mm-hmm. She's literally picked up women with the KLD do you like think, nothing. Do you think wrestling she picked misses, up Otis. misses like a strength contest? Yeah. Like it does. a bitch press contest or something like a power, like a, uh, you know, how they do the power men lift the competitions and strong, strongest yep. men. I feel like WWE did that with women and dudes like that would be cool. Yeah. We need you to know? see that because we got to find out who exactly is strong. I mean, I will say that Bianca has picked up Otis like he was nothing on her shoulder like and ran around fucking, the ring. She looks like she's fucking strong. Yep. And she's, she's pretty jacked. What's your number one? She's just number one. Fuck too. She's smooth awesome. as the gravy. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. Number one is tough one. Ooh. I think about it real quick. Number one. This one's a tough one. It's hard to pick. Like I gotta say, it, it's hard to choose. Uh, I get hard because, when I think about women's wrestling Because too. there's been so many great ones. Yeah. We all know about them. Mm-hmm. Alunda Braze. Okay. Okay. Yeah, she's a classic, and she's like, yep. she she made it all happen. Yeah. And she's Pretty one solid. of the reasons why. I don't I know a ton that. about her. I don't. I couldn't name a huge match. I suppose, but just that name is like kind of like a Randy Savage, a Piper. Yep. It's like a classic boom name. And many people know day. her by her name, mm-hmm. Medusa. Medusa. Yeah, Medusa. 
she came into WCW through the through the yep. match down, and know? no one has had that big I mean, threw the belt down. I mean, and no one's had that that big of an effect on controversy since that day. Did she get to wrestle much after that though? Was her career about over in, in ring? I mean, by then, she, I mean, she did get to wrestle somewhat. There just wasn't but much competition wasn't, at that yeah, time. There wasn't because there WCW enough. established women to, for, for that to, to happen. With, yeah, yeah, she was about it right then. Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. She was, she was cool though, man. Well. Excuse me. They bring in the occasional Japanese girl, you know. Um, I guess I'll do my, I'll do my three, man. Um, I just come up top two, like I haven't thought about this or anything, man. Um, number three, uh, influence wise, ah, oh, fuck Lita. Hell yeah, good choice. You know, like Lita's WWE stuff. Like she, uh, she did that moonsault. She's Hall of Fame. Yep. All she all took was looking at S.A. Rios hit it once, and she. Nailed it. And then she brought, she came back her, her first uh, comeback uh, when she was a little older. She still did pretty good. And she just had a look at her. Like, she looked like a Hardy boy. Mm-hmm. Yep. So she wrestled. Like, to me, I liked her more than Matt. I like Jeff Hardy, Lita, and then Matt Hardy. Yep. I, I, thought, I, thought, I thought Lita was great. Also, she looked sexy as hell when she, when she was with Edge and she was wearing that crop top that made her tits look, that, look like they were even bigger. <laughs> yeah, man. That was, that was good times. Um, Two, I would say um, Sherry Martell. Ooh, nice choice. Sherry Martell for sure. Cause Scary Sherry. It's a shame she didn't get to wrestle more. Cause yeah, yeah. Same, same thing. She was awesome. Yeah, she was amazing. And, and her uh, as a manager, dude, from the 80s to the 90s. She's uh, on fire. If she was with them, dude, they were winning. Yep. Harlem Heat. Sean Michaels, dude. Sean yep. Michaels came into his own she's literally the, when it was with him. She's literally with her. in his song. Yeah. Well, when when yeah. they say sexy boy, you hear her say, oh, Sean. Yeah. <laughs> she's also the voice of Sexy Kirk. Yeah. She uh, she was amazing. Uh, Harlem Heat and WCW. You know, there's tons of stuff that I'm missing about yep. her. When she managed uh, Savage. Yeah. When she, when she took the place of Miss Elizabeth. That was yeah. an excellent she moment, too. Wow. And remember right. when Miss Elizabeth Did you ever think Miss Elizabeth would be replaced and it would happen? But Sherry could just get in there and fucking do it, man. There yeah, was so, and there was something hot about her. Plus she could work so like was. one of the guys. Yeah, yeah she, she could take a licking. Also, also when if she's back there with the guys, she didn't give a fuck. She would change yeah. right right in front of them. Yeah. Because yeah, she, she saw care. them as the boys and they saw her as the boys. Yeah, Jim's always putting her over talking about, you know, how, yeah. how cool she was and how she was just really awesome. And then my number one, Stacy Cornett. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, Jim Cornett would, 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 you know, Jim, you know, Jim Cornett all, would, would, let, would let you have a threesome with, with him and his wife. <laughs> Shut up, John. Don't talk about Stacy like that. Yeah. Don't you talk oh, come about on. Although, if you're telling the truth, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Damn hot tub. Hey, hey, I've heard that several times, though. That you know, Jim Cornette apparently, I, supposedly, I, was going to have some wrestler, not going to say his name, but <laughs> he was supposedly he was saying, hey, you come join me and my wife, Stacy, and we'll have a little, little, little bit of fun. So, so I, uh, I was friends with Stacy uh, on Facebook. Uh, nice. This was six, seven, eight, nine years ago or some shit. And I got a Pac-Man machine, a floor arcade Pac-Man machine, uh, two-player, like the kind you see at uh, Pizza Hut and yeah. shit. And she's seen a picture of or a video of me with that in the picture. And she messaged me and asked me if I was interested in selling my Pac-Man machine. Nice. And, and you can hear Jim talk about him buying a new Pac-Man <laughs> machine for it. He went and bought just a brand new one or whatever. But he would have bought mine. Nice. If it was for sale, I could sell. Hell yeah! wasn't able wasn't able to sell it. Um, you could have got some signed shit out of there. Oh yeah, very much. Could. You could, I could though, definitely. man. It was, it's a family heirloom, dude. It's like old school. Mm. It's been around for a while. And it's, Shout it's, it's to not Jim going nowhere. Cornette. It's not going nowhere till we're dead. Um, yeah, Jim, yeah, my, Jim's awesome. my good friend, Jim. Yeah, his right. good friend. His Jim. good friend. Don't you fucking forget it. He <laughs> sent two things to him by now. <laughs> he talked about both it. times. He's mentioned them by. And we Name talk about it. Every, we try to talk about it every show. We try by to end my every full show. Name, by God, we, Michael Lynn Watkins. The my, my good next, friend next week's top uh, three is actually uh, the three favorite things about Jim Cornette. Personally, yes. we each like the most about Jim. Yeah. So you guys make sure I you tune in for that and tag Jim. <laughs> but uh, my number one uh, woman in wrestling, dude. I'm going to go with um, with good old uh, Stephanie McMahon. 
Hell yeah! Oh, get the fuck that's out my of that's here. my crush right yeah. there. Oh man, Ms. we're Stephanie. talking about wrestlers. No women in hey, hey, wrestling. Though. Hey though, but she was and in that's, a, that's not fair. Dude. She was an influential, uh, influential, nah. influential. Nepo yeah. baby, I Nepo find the words. baby. But she was my first crush, yeah. and still is. She can still get it. I think <laughs> I think Stephanie McMahon held together the Attitude Error. Way more than anyone understands. She was also... I think she, she grabbed Triple H. She was an on-air talent. And she heel. was keeping her dad's fucking perversions a secret and helping everything in that side. She was having so much go on. And having to deal and with her dad. Time, time. And every time she got in the ring, it was great. And her interactions with Chris Jericho were fucking... If you haven't seen those... The trash or you don't home. remember those, dude. Yeah, those were good. God. Were good. Or yeah. her time with Kurt Angle. I mean, put her in there. Like, I hate to say this because I don't try to put over Stephanie McMahon a whole fucking bunch, dude. But if you go back and watch anything with Stephanie in it, it's hard to find stuff that didn't go over. The best part of she was, that. And when she was in the ring, she was fucking go time. And the best part of that was the heel turn mm-hmm. when she finally turned heel. 1999, Armageddon. You think the Triple H is going to bash her skull in? That was good. And suddenly, she turns around. She got the big old evil grin. Yeah, the good one and for me, though. The memorable to me was when she came out for the first time in that purple shirt and had them big old new titties. Oh, like my she was, God. Them she was titties. a whole new Stephanie McMahon when that happened. I jerked off to those titties. What? <laughs> hey, I'm just saying. We got to beef that out, Johnny. Then. We got to beef that one now. We've lost control. Pinballs and power cords has officially lost control. Hey, though. No. Stephanie, what, 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 what <laughs> get it. <laughs> oh, I think you just made me blush, Johnny Lee. But that goes to you, Mike, uh, top three women okay, in wrestling. Okay, here's the deal, because I've had a bit of fucking ten minutes to think about this. Right? Yeah, you've had, I gave you the most time. I, on my number three pick, I just have a three-way tie, because I can't make up my mind. Oh, so your three is a three-way. It's a three-way, nice. yes, because I can't put one over the other. Giggity, giggity. Can you match them wrestling each other? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I could, and it'd be a goddamn hell of a match, too. Hell yeah. Great Kabuki. Nice. Luna Vachon. Oh, yep. yeah. Rosemary. Boom. That would be a hell of a match. Those are good. Uh, uh, I couldn't Luna. pick out of those three for my name. I should l- 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 Vachon, man. Yeah, Luna Vachon was that's probably a th- That should have been a three on me, too, Luna Vachon was incredible, man. She was the first one that looked different as a woman. Yep. Maybe I should say yeah. What yeah, was that? You didn't know what that bitch right was right saying. Here. She yeah. just come out and just say it. You didn't even know what she was saying. You just knew she it was, was wild. Up she shit. was a road warrior. And she was. She, she was, was like fucking <laughs> nuts. She was go dust yeah, domination. Yeah, so. yeah, good one. Good one. Good one. What's your three or two? <sighs> China. Nice. Oh wow. Yeah, China was was just. She really was the eighth wonder, man. She was. And I th- only I thought she was incredible, and, and you know, yeah, skill wise, she wasn't quite there, but she she could have been. I mean, she worked with the fucking guys. She didn't even yep. wrestle the girls, dude. It, like it's held, like she knew it wasn't even fair. Like she wouldn't even wrestle with the girls. And she held the first. She held the Intercontinental Championship, first woman to do it. I would have gave everything I had to have seen her got a hold of that fucking bitch Sable. Me too. But I Sable, but Sable her. can't wrestle, so she was a crybaby. Oh it. yeah, she was a little fucking. She was a twat. I she hated, I hated everything with Sable. I don't like tits that look like that. No, like, I, don't I don't like either. nothing about and every her. Every time that I don't bitch like got on the microphone, that. it made me cringe. She I couldn't sucked. Stand the way it, she looked was awful. She was horrible. And the fact that Brock Lesnar just raw dogs that, like, because yeah. Lesnar can have anything. I know, right? but he's like, oh no, Sable's hot. Yeah. Have you seen his daughter? Yeah. She looks just like Brock that poor Lesnar. girl. That poor girl. I feel so fucking sorry for her. Yep. To look she like does. That. She looks like they like cloned Brock. And all yep. she can do now is just get as strong as she can and try to do and try to be like a monster. Yeah. That's all she has to do because she's yep. not going to be a fairy princess. No. 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 That poor girl. Yeah. Well, Brock's Brock's got, got, yeah. Brock, Brock tries to brag about say being the hottest thing he's ever had. I That's, tell you what, yeah, though, yeah. if that girl decides to get into wrestling, look the fuck out. Yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. And she Seriously, will. And she will. I don't see any other girl fucking with that girl. <laughs> there, I, there's gonna it. like there, we've seen that preview of that new girl that's on NXT that they're trying to show as a mm. monster. But I feel like every decade or so there's gonna there one comes along that's just bigger and mm. badder and, and just unbelievable compared to the others. 
And we haven't seen that yet, I don't think. Yeah. Exactly. You know, even bigger than, than, than Bel Air and all them. Like, yep. there's something that comes in and looks like, what? Is that a fucking redwood tree that's a yep. woman? Something's coming. And I don't know the dimensions of Brock's uh, daughter, man. Like, I don't know how tall girl, she actually she's is. She's a fucking champion. Yep. Is right. she over six foot as a woman? I think so. If anybody out there knows how tall or how big the dimensions of Brock Lesnar's uh, daughter is, let us know. I'm gonna yeah, she's, that up. she competed to try to get into the Olympics, right? Wasn't it shot yep. put? She tried I to, heard about know. that. Well, we're at 9.30, guys. It's time for the first now, band. Now, hold on, motherfucker. I ain't even got my one Oh, you ain't got the one, one yet. yet. Oh, Shit. that's true. What <laughs> the fuck Skirt. y'all doing? I said we started talking about China, and it was it was all good. Chi- yeah. China got two votes. Yeah, China was great. Yep. I, honestly, my number one, I've got, I mean, it sounds cliche or whatever, but, dude, I mean, who's better than Rhea Ripley? Wow. That's true. I, I mean, mean, really. I mean, who's better? Who's had a bigger impact, and who's going to make a bigger impact in the for, in in the sport than Rhea? I feel like maybe that's a little early to say. Just a, I mean, a little bit. Yeah, if she cuts she out and goes lot, on to Hollywood. If she don't, if she don't have a like, longevity, but man, yeah. yeah, like there's nobody that's competing with her now. There's nobody say, to go one on one and and get you could her. say Charlotte Flair too. I mean, honestly, mm-hmm. yeah, you know, Charlotte yeah. could very easily be on that list as the greatest. Well, Charlotte I, is the Ric Flair. Move, yeah. move wise and everything too. Do you think she's going to come back and be as strong as she is now? Yeah, uh, as she Dude, was. She's a freak. She's an athletic freak. She's more athletic than her daddy ever was. You think she'll come back and and, and still be? Yes. That I, that's the match right I there. Ain't believe, it? I Rip, what, Ripley and Charlotte at WrestleMania yep. at the next WrestleMania. Yep. That's the uh, match. The it was the match of the year. Did. The first time they got together. Wow. Yep. They've, had, never, they've I, had two. I've right. not seen it. I'm you never saw Check that was out. that was the pandemic WrestleMania. That was the best See, match on the card. I don't think I watched that WrestleMania. Well, I don't blame you. It was it was depressing. Because remember it that next, yeah. that next one, me and you and TT watched the uh, Royal Rumble and Cody won it. Yeah. And the be, the best it. the best thing about that pandemic uh resume was the boneyard match, the Firefly Funhouse match. Mm-hmm. And I guess Rome Reigns sending Adam Copeland and Danny Bryan packing the AEW yeah. by stacking them like he said he would. Stacked them and pinned them. Look at old look yep. at old Mysterio. We're watching Mysterio just be owed. But uh <laughs> But yeah, dude. Um, yeah, Rhea Ripley. That, could... that match between Rhea and Charlotte, it was hard hitting, dude. They fucking went at it. They yeah. went. They went for it. Well, I'd like to see. I like to see them get a good shot. Go, in front go of 50, back 60, and watch that people. match. Exactly. Oh, that go was back. a good move. That was a crazy move. It was like a belly to back springboard. Uh, look, yep. what I say? Who got, got the pin? Win. <laughs> Kofi, Kofi got pinned. Kofi I it. called it, dude. Yep. But yeah, dude, take the time. Go back and watch that match. It's incredible. I'm going to have to. We might have to do that as a watch. I think, I think watch Rhea should have went over, but I can see, looking why? back, why they didn't put her over, but yeah. I still think she probably should have. Because was. Rhea's probably going to be going over for the next 15 years. Yeah. If she wants to. I mean. If she it, wants that position in that spot. Clean, at least. And she might take a fucking here and there every once yep. in a while and get beat, but I don't see anybody outright beating Rhea Ripley for a long time, man. Exactly. Well, that was a good. That was a good top three this week, guys. Yes, it was some yeah. good. Some good women's talking. Um, we got a banger for the battle of the bands. Um, we always uh, have a battle of the bands at the end of the show. We've upgraded this week. We got some more mainstream music rocking and rolling, dude. And we will be judging over musicianship, listenability, um, originality, and personal opinion is how we do it. We do it from a zero point one to a five point zero is the perfect score. Um, this first band is Haste the Day, and the song is called Burn. Yeah, they, they're kind of mainstream, too. Mm-hmm. Go back. It was down there. Hey, before we start anything, though, I got to give an honorable there mention it is, Haste the Day. to my girl, Rosemary. Yeah. Let's talk we, about Rosemary for a second. we did not talk There it is. About. Burn right there, dude. Yep. I love me some fucking Rosemary, dude. Yeah. I wish she could have gotten into WWE years ago. I think she'd already been on top by now. Yep. Yep. I hope there's still time for her because she has come on NXT a couple of times. I think there is. And also had when he cheated. Especially on NXT. Especially on NXT. Glory, Especially on NXT. I, yeah. like, I like TNA nowadays. I hope it's not too late for All right, let's check it. Out. Haste the day. See, this has only got 70,000 views. came out 11 days ago. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're, they're kind of mainstream. Oh, he's got a bad haircut. I don't like his haircut, though. Yeah. 
Even his haircuts fucking match box 20. <laughs> yep, I know, hey, right? I like Rob Thomas. You lay off Rob Thomas. Oh, hey, I like him. match box 20 uh, as well. Yeah, that's another screamer. Ah, uh, that's, that's not that screamer. I mean, it's, it's pretty clean. They go yeah, back true. and forth. It's not that. Yeah, they, I don't mind screaming. Hey, he switched up. Though. Playing, Take it, it somewhere. Yeah. You know? if you play he switched with up well. though. He went from screaming to regular singing just now. Is nobody singing with him? I feel like somebody else should have it. I see, I see a mic back here now. There we go. Oh, uh, yeah. They didn't have those mic stands in this in this shot before then. They added them. Yep. <laughs> they added them into the next shot. And it, the chorus is pretty clean, too. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind this at all. There's a variety in He gets it pretty too. high, too. That's a pretty cool riff. Rock yep. coming in it. And at least he's mixing it up on the vocals. Yeah, they're mixing it up all the way around. Kind of reminds me of some kill switch engage a little bit. Yeah, oh, very much. That, that's what I was going to say. Very much. Very much. Not bad. I bet at least two of the people in the band's favorite band is Kill Switch. Now that yep. I'm thinking about it, yeah. <laughs> at Not least bad. two of them. There's always something about a band that's got the one Asian dude in it. Yeah. If they got one Asian dude, there's something about that that just makes or, it better. Or a chick bass player. Or a chick bass player. <laughs> yep. Those two things, man, is a formula for success. Yeah. Cool little bridge hook, huh? Little bridge break. Yep. They're mixing it up right. with variety. That's not bad. I feel like the singer don't know what to do with his legs while he's singing, though. Have you seen this? Have you seen his leg movement? He needs to take him and walk his ass to a barber and get that goddamn haircut. Just shave it. Off. Yeah. <laughs> shave my <hood. laughs> Give me the ball. <laughs> I might go and try to listen to some of these guys. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm yeah. not giving them a chance because they're kind of that mall metal shit. Yeah. Well, so I, I've they, avoided listening to them for years. I, I mean, this isn't bad. No, we'll see, we'll see where the score gets. That ain't bad at all. Not really. And they got some competition, dude. They're they're in for some. They got they're up against some juggernauts, some sperm, the sperm donut of, yep. of some juggernauts. Who is it? Who's the other band? The Vended. Oh. Yup, it gets. That's cool. Band. That's cool, man. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, I really didn't mind that. When you said when you said when you said kill switch, though, I was like, oh yeah, yeah for sure. Yeah, that was actually pretty good for man. sure. And, and yeah, they're they're calling it metalcore. That makes sense, man, because mm -hmm. it, it, it's metalcore is like a hardcore meets melodic death metal sort of a sound. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's weird that they come up with those. Like, do you think the same place that they come up with those names, they come up with the things that how they name weed? Yeah. They like all come up with this like <laughs> bubble gum, yum yum, cherry yeah. grape. Yeah. What does this remind you? <laughs> this is kind of fucking thing. When people say those names to me, I'm like, what, dude? And the only time I can say it is if I buy it from like a dispensary and it's got the name on it, then I feel like I have to say it by the name, yeah. man. Because I got this stuff called like a white cobra. And it was like, it was white, and it yeah. got you fucking like you got bit by a cobra after you took a hit. You Sometimes know? the shit earns its name, you know? Yeah, dude, it exactly. was awesome. As so, far as these fucking subgenres, dude, they're, they're like it's 50 fucking weird, more dude. a day, dude. Like, I, it's ridiculous. And am, am I a dork, or am I old, or am I just fucking out of it for not caring about it, or I even thinking I need to learn about it? I, I don't need to learn that kind of subgenre no. shit, yep. do I? No. 
Exactly. Like, I'm not going to talk to anybody. You, you that... can't keep up with the fucking It's shit. fucking dumb, yeah, it's man. Genres it's keep on changing. It's just dumb. Like, I can understand using it to try to describe somebody's mm. sound. Yeah. But once you do that, you put a lot of bands that are similar in a pocket, sort of. Yeah. So I felt like everything was solid, dude. Uh, to me, with, shit either rocks or it don't rock. Like, with you know, the, like, does it fucking rock? Yes. Okay. Exactly. With, with musicianship. Yeah. Shit. We're going to do but musicianship as the very first uh, way we're going to judge them, dude. And I, I what, really thought they were from one to tight. five? Is that what we're doing? One point, to five? Point oh one, point zero, zero point one to five point oh, yes. All right. I'm going to give that man a three seven. That's yeah, pretty fucking I, solid, I, I dude. Agree. They were they were rocking and rolling. That. You guys, I, you I like that one? That, yeah. You want a three seven too? Yep. Okay, cool. Yeah, a near four. That's a pretty decent. You guys all score. like my score. Yeah. Um, likeability. I'm going to start with Mike though. What's your likeability of that? Yeah, three five. Yeah, I like Kill Switch too. You know. What I'm yeah, saying? yeah no <laughs> me doubt. too. How much did you like it? What you, what are you going to give it? Three five as well. Three five as well, honey. Yeah. I, I man. Uh, I hate to be that dude. Yeah, three five guys. We <laughs> we just all best friends with the same fucking opinions, ain't we? Yeah. Um, I mean, they they had originality. I'm going I, first here because I yeah. after he told me that dude, and I'm gonna drop that down. I'm actually gonna give it a two eight. I'm giving it a flat two. A flat two really yeah. brings it low for originality. I'm gonna give it a yeah. two point one. Two point one, nice. And then personal opinion, I dig it all right, but I don't dig it. A halfway dig it, man, right there in the middle. I'm, I'm digging it at a 2.5. Same. I'd have to put it at a 2.4 because, yeah, yeah, I dig it, but would I... And that's not bad scores. But right would here. I go, go out my scores. way to listen to it? That's not bad scores. Let's go right into the next song. Let's go into Bended. And the yes. song is called Where the Honesty Lies. Yep, let me get it pulled up here. And then we're going to watch this one. We'll judge them. I'm going to go take a pee, and uh, and then we'll come back and we'll... we'll uh, See who won the battle of the bands. That's right. And then. Oh, you gotta do this. If uh, if you're listening in at home and you guys hear this, uh, call in or write in. Let us know what you think about the bands. Uh, Mike told us a little bit about this band earlier. It's the sons of Corey Taylor and yeah. Clown and Clown. Yeah, and so I, I, I remember these guys. Corey Taylor's kids on vocals. I think Clown's Kid is a drummer. I think. The artwork's kind of creepy. Yep. Oh, shit. Very so funny. It does have a bit of a How old is he? 20 something. He's young. I mean, they're kids. Oh, very slipknot I Oh, they sound just like slipknot. But I like it. Like, it's, it's, got, it's got groove to it. It sounds so much like Slipknot. So too like much. It. Too much like it. Yep, way too much. All the breakdowns and everything. It would have been a whole lot better if they tried to do a different sound from yeah. what their dads are used to. Yeah, the, the way the riffs are written, the, the groove of it, everything. Even, even oh. the vocals are Do you think they like write it themselves, or do you think they have a little help with, the, with how they write it? I guess they get it honest, man, you know. But, yeah, you would think they would have tried to spread their wings a little bit, man. They didn't at all. Something that made them stick yeah, out. Yeah, because they stayed yeah. right there with Slipknot. Yeah. This was their big chance to try to differentiate who Bennett is compared to Slipknot. Yeah, because they had a lot of hype before anybody heard them, just because of who they were. Yeah. But then when everybody heard them, it's like, oh, man, God damn it, you know. Cause yeah, exactly. it, was like, like Slipknot. it was exactly what everybody was hoping they wouldn't do, which was just sound just yep. like their daddies. So it sounds like Bend it, I should have spent all my money on Slipknot. <laughs> yeah, Bend it, it you might as well have just named them Slipknot Light. Yep, Slipknot, Slipknot Light because, because they don't know Slipknot how to be with. Yeah. That sucks. But it's Hopefully good. Hopefully they'll grow into their it's own. It's good, but they should have 
the truck to try to find who Bennett is compared to Slipknot. Yeah, hopefully they'll grow into their own and start doing some different yep. shit. Because yeah. obviously, Corey Taylor's son's got to realize, hey, I don't want to sing like my dad. I want to be my own person. Yeah. Let me try this different style. I mean, overall, the music's okay. They're sounding good. But it's too much like Slip Mob. Yeah. Like, I like it. If I hadn't heard Slip Knot before... You'd be thinking I, that, I, yeah, I that's like, cool. It's pretty, pretty jamming. But then when you have heard Slip Knot and then you hear this, you're like, where's the difference? And the whole album has that sound, too. I mean, no it doesn't up really... Up. Yeah. Is this... They've only released one up and spoken? Yeah, this album's not been out very long. It's a couple of months, I think. A lot of big effects coming in and out of the song. Yep. Do they come back in with anything nasty or is it over? I can't remember. Let's see. Come on, guys. I think it's over. Yeah, it's over. It. Yeah, you can kill it. Cool. Let's get some judging going then. We got a <clears throat> musicianship. They were great. I'm giving them a 3-5. Three, 3. I'll give them a 3 as well. We got 3s on the board. Listenability. I, like I said, I can sit in the car and jam, but I'm not giving it nothing too big, man. I'm going to give it a 3.0. I'll give him a three. A 3.0. Yeah. I'll give him a 3.0 as well. 3.0. Whoa. Originality. Uh, <laughs> point, point 0.5. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll give him a 0. Point oh, one. no. Yeah, I'm giving him a point 0.5. I'm going to give him a full talking. point, man. Yeah, fuck I'm him. giving him a full point. Yeah. They're, they're the sperm of originality. It's more than they deserve. <laughs> they didn't even try to be original. Personal no, opinion. Dude. Personal opinion. I mean, it's a little underwhelming. I'm going to give it a 2.2. 2. 2. 2. 2.1 for me. 1. 1.5. 1. 1.5. I'm totally fucking this score, dude. And this, and this is the other. Oh, yeah, <laughs> we know the we right. know the winner of this one. We'll announce yeah, it in a second. I don't yeah. even have to add them up. Yeah. yeah. Um. So we're getting uh, Dirty Dom against Damian Priest. I hope that Vin did grow into their. That's own. the main event. I hope by the time they do their sophomore album, they have found themselves a little bit more. You know, because mm-hmm. right now they just sounded just like their daddies. Yeah, but they they could make a career out of that if they want, I suppose. You know, but. Me as a musician, man, I kind of, I kind of thrive on wanting to sound different. Yeah, I want, I want to, I, want, I don't want to do other people's if, stuff or sound like true, other people's shit. If they truly feel that shit in their bones, they'll grow into something else. Uh huh. They'll start picking up different influences and start using that in their music. Exactly. And it'll, it'll change their sound. I tell you what, though, man, wrestling figure commercials aren't what they used to be. That's fucking dog shit. Yes, it is. I want to see. I want to see some fucking. Wrestling going on in that goddamn Damn ring. Damn straight. I want to see that kid getting power drive. Yeah. What's dog shit is those fucking figures are thirty dollars a piece now. Yeah, they're not any. Good Have you ever seen the one where Sting beats a kid's ass? On oh, the, yeah, <laughs> uh, in a commercial, he's like, "Yeah, yeah, Billy, we're gonna have a wrestling match," and then he he just whoops this kid's ass the entire commercial, puts out Scorpion Deathlock, and, and he's having to tap ass. Sting's like, "Nope, I don't hear you yet." I I, I was. Uh, moseying through Walmart, I think yesterday. And I haven't been in there a while, so I checked out the figures. And AEW's got these, like, um, some big special fucking big black box with Sting in it. And he's like 60 fucking bucks. 60 bucks. bucks. I saw him, too, yeah. Like, what in the fuck, man? He's a a Walmart exclusive. Is is that what it is? I just can't afford to get that kind of shit, dude. I got the CM Punk exclusive. Yes, I seen that one in the back. That motherfucker is worth like 150 bucks now. Hell yeah, those, those go up too, man. Those are cool. Yeah. All the figures that, uh, all the CM Punks that were with AEW. Yeah, this one especially though, because it's the fucking, it's the deluxe just like the Steam. Yep. I got you the know, fucking. Came I got, in the big black box. He's got like four different heads. I got the fucking uh, Orange Cassidy and I got it stuck in my closet yeah. facing <laughs> facing the fucking wall yeah, in the back. That's good. That's <laughs> where <laughs> the motherfucker needs to getting be. Dusty. Yep, that's where he needs Get, to stay. Getting dusty yeah. on it and everything. Sitting man. in the corner. <laughs> he's he gonna be moping like, the whole time playing pocket pool with himself. 
So uh, the winner of the Battle of the Bands, I don't even have to add them up, man. You can just kind of tell yeah, uh, with the thing the on day, it. Yeah. Haste the Day, man, is going to go yep. to the next round. Yeah. Um, like I said, they're a pretty badass band. If you guys haven't checked them out, make sure you go check them out. They were way bare on the scope. It's been a lot of fun, man. Uh, anybody, that, everybody that's tuned in and been a part of, uh, been a part of the show and been watching along. Uh, I thought it was cool, man. Having the Raws been been pretty cool. We're gonna yeah. still be watching the end of it for the next couple minutes. Um, if you guys are watching it, make sure you share. Um, that stuff helps. Share, yeah, and like, sure it does. Um, Let the world know that we are back. Yeah, comment, comment, say We're back. Comment, say something on the page. We got a Facebook page. Uh, just uh, type in pinfalls and power chords. And you can look us up, and uh, we're going to go to Michael Lynn Watkins and the ventilation of the week. Like, what do you got to ventilate about this week, Mike? Oh, the ventilator. The ventilator. I had a few topics to choose from. Uh, which one am I going to cover? Jim Cornette just don't. Fucking talk about me enough. <laughs> it's bothering me. Yeah. Really wish you'd mention me about every segment change if you could. Mm. <laughs> well, I don't fucking know. I tell you, I mean, there's a lot of things going on. We got an election coming up. I could sure go on about that for fucking three hours. Yeah, I watched some uh, Joe Rogan. He had Trump on there. Yeah, he's a fucking goof. And then Shannon Sharp had the the chick that's running. I don't even Harris. Harris Kamala. Yeah, they, they, uh, Shannon Sharp had that had had her on today. She got my vote all her. day. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> she seemed pretty cool, man. She seemed like her head on. She's her very shoulders. smart. She's very well put together. <clears throat> she Trump. reminds me of Obama. Not just because she's black. Trump's a fucking clown. But she just reminds me of Obama. But, uh, you know, we got that coming up. The most important election of our fucking lifetime. Yeah. But I go on about that shit all the time. And, you know, it's just good to not fucking have to deal with that. Yeah. So what I'm going to ventilate about. Ventilators. I'll be glad when this fucking shit's over. When the election's done. And I can, you know, maybe try to. Chill out. Uh, uh, fucking get back to where my stress level is down Breathe. to here. Yep. And instead of every day worrying about whether we're going to still be a democracy or not. Yeah. You know, because right now I'm worried. The things have changed pretty easy, man. It don't take it don't take many days. People don't get it that this mo- motherfucker's talking about using the military against our own people, dude. I mean, yeah. that's that's third world shit. Yeah. This what? shit ain't a joke. Yeah, the, the motherfucker's goofy. He's funny. He's easy to laugh at when he's saying some dumb shit. But he will literally be the fucking most powerful man in the world again. And uh, the world could end. The world yeah, could end yeah. pretty easy about some bad leadership. A little yeah, bit, and little bit a really, of bad leadership. But yeah, it could, and it's a fucked up time, like, oh, dude. You fuck. know, you got a lot of crazy shit going on right now. So I'll just be glad that my fucking with. blood pressure can come back down to so a livable we. So will level. Because your head turns red and that one bead of sweat comes on there. Yeah. <laughs> And we know that Mike's yeah. stressed out. Yep. <laughs> yeah, and you know, at my fucking age now, where I, I, you know, I still try to, <laughs> I still eat too much of the shit that I shouldn't fucking eat. Cereal? You all oh, eat cereal? I live on goddamn cereal. What's your favorite cereal, Mike? Uh, uh, which day of the week? Oh, you had one for each day. <laughs> <laughs> one for every fucking day, son. I got like four boxes at Mon- the house right Monday now. Monday marshmallow. Yeah, <laughs> I got motherfucking <laughs> Fruit Loops for fucking Fridays. Fridays. How many boxes of cereal? Do you keep the box of cereal on top of the fridge, or do you like just kind of? No, that shit stays handy right by the microwave. Right by the microwave. Behind the couch. It's all lined up. Yeah. (laughs) I tell you, I've become a big fan of the fucking air fryer, too. You know? Yeah, me too. Like, I'm buying shit now yeah, that, dude. like, you can just, what I would used to have to throw in the oven and cook yep. for, like, fucking two hours to have mm-hmm. a chicken sandwich. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now I put it in a little air fryer dude. for, like, fucking eight air minutes, fryer ten is minutes. A God let me, let that me, motherfucker's incredible. Let me help you. Go get two chicken pot pies, old school, the little mm-hmm. fucking box of chicken pot pies. They're a dollar a piece. Yeah. And get you a bag of fucking tater tots and throw that bitch in the fucking air fryer, dude. It's probably about 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And, dude, you got, the, you got the meal of the day. Yeah, I, throw them very I, down. I, I, I do throw the little fruit pies, pies on like top. that. I love fruit. You know those little banquet yeah. pies. The yeah. same people that yep. make the sh- fucking I, pot I, I pies. Did, believe me, I do. I've made tens of those. At, at <laughs> the air fryer is the best part. 
You know what I did in Oh, uh, Dominic beat Damian Priest. What just what? happened? He beat him. Fuck out of here. Uh, now, now they're going to have him attack Dominic to get his how, I see a chair in the ring. How did that happen? Something happened. Uh, how did uh, he, how did he him out of that? Oh, he's going to get even, though. Yep. Here it comes. The Razor's Edge. Oh, he does boy, it good, too, man. You. He does it good, too. I yep. hope that pin was like worth Scott it. Hall. That's a tribute, too, to uh, Scott I hope Hall. that pin hey, was yo. worth it. Hey, yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Hey, yo. That, you know, Nobody's I, more cool than Scott Hall. I thought that fucker was overrated, man. Scott? Yeah. Oh, hey, he's dude. a big oh, boy. Come on, he's God. a big look, boy. Look oh, my. Look, what's Cronk doing? He's no Damien Priest. Morgan. Damien Priest got three times oh. the ability. Oh. This guy all had. I don't. I would right now. You know, that, I'm talking technical ability, dude. Uh, dude, Damian Priest got three times the fucking ability this guy. I had. don't know. Did you watch early Scott Hall? Yes, with, I with, saw with it. Kurt, with Kurt. With Kurt. Did you watch him as Diamond as Diamond Dust when he was? Uh, no, I don't remember that. I think you don't. Uh, but I have that to was say way this. back to the '80s. I think you have a fight if it's not Scott Hall a as stash. soon as NWO started. Because as soon as NWO started, I think Scott Hall and Kevin Nash were at their peak, and they were pretty powerful in the wrestling. And Damian Priest is a legit fucking champion. Oh, I know. I've seen him ever since. Uh, oh, Martinez. No. Yes, he's a legit martial he's going arts to, champion. He's going to continue punishing them. He competed nationally. He's, I want to know how this how this won, how he won the uh, match. Oh, Day helped out. I, I yelled at him, and he, he told me to fuck off when I called him uh, um Roman Reigns light at a Ring of Honor show. <laughs> he said, Fuck Punishment off. Martinez. Yeah, yeah. He said, Fuck Punishment Martinez was what yeah. it was. He yeah. said, Fuck off. <laughs> oh, this man is killing Dominic right now. He is sped up. What happened? Did he get a roll up or something? No, a uh, chair, oh. chair got used. Distractions oh, okay. happened. And oh, okay. All Security that. ain't bothering to oh, come look, down there, he says. Look. Oh, there you go. Oh, so oh, come south on. of heaven. Carlito. Fuck them all up. There you go. Is Carlito wearing women pants? Yep. <laughs> he said, yeah, he's got skinny some, pants. He's got some stretch pants. Oh, South for him choke Sam on Dominic. Uh-oh. Get out of there, Dommy. There you go. Fuck him up. Choke Sam. Oh. Oh, oh yes. that was better than any South of Heaven I've ever seen. Oh, look at her. Oh, cry. she's tore up. What's she going to do? What's she going to do? She have sent Raquel in there. I mean, Raquel's a big girl. She could probably fuck Damien up. Damien's yeah. had enough. He's had a fuck enough. Do it one more time, Dad. I bet I guarantee you the crowd but goes, wait. one more time. One That's more right. Time. <laughs> one more time. Put some hair on his balls. <laughs> he ain't gonna, Make he ain't that gonna, man into a man. I don't think he'll get the title back. back. Oh, that's... Oh, that's how it happened. Here we go. That's showing us hat. See? Right, it's just yep, a roll-up. Roll up. It's just a fruit roll-up. Oh, he tights. grabbed the fucking pants. He fruit grabbed roll up his with pants, handful of panties. Hey, sometimes that's what a hill's got to do yeah, to get well, that win. Yeah, well, by God, he paid for it. Yep, with a lot of beat down. Yeah. Dude, that was a good show. That's that a good. That's a good choke slam that I just that was, saw. That was beautiful. They hey, got him up higher for Johnny Lee, for Michael Lynn Watkins, <laughs> yeah. for the Nice Guy Andy Network. We're we pitfalls and power cords. Glad to be back. And we're out. We'll see you guys next.